<laughs> I saw it. Oh, 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 oh. Nasty, bro. Holy shit. Keep no stop press for you. Oh, my God. What? That's how you do it, baby. And what is going on? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to yourselves. We're back live and ready to roll with that daytime segment in the stream. Hopping back in and continuing some more once human. The closed beta went live yesterday. If you downloaded the game and just launched in, you just got free access to the game. No early access. Well, no stuff. Hey, Kyle, thank you very much. No uh, weird shit required. You didn't need to go ahead and sign up for closed beta. Literally download, play the game. If you're one of the first 150,000 people, you just got access to the game. Good to go. Create a character. You can play. Call 1515 has resubbed for 33 months at tier three. Hello? New phone? Who this? Who this? 33 months at tier 3! My days! We got Cal right there. Look at that. Look at that tier 3. Ooh, that is a spicy sub right there. Thank you very much, Cal. Tier 3. <laughs> you think this guy liked the stream or something? Not just a, not a prime sub. Not a tier 1 sub. Not a tier 2. But tier 3? Motherfucker, that's like 20, 25 quid a month. Thank you very much for that big boy sub. Appreciate that. Uh, also, everyone else in the stream should also upgrade their sub from tier one to tier three because it, there's so many reasons why I don't. I I can't even list the, the benefits. Like being a tier one sub, awesome, it's amazing. But being a tier three sub, oh my god, Cal, let the people in chat know how much better your life has been. <laughs> Let how much worse your life has been since upgrading to tier three. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. Yeah, it probably there, there's no there's no benefits in subscribing at tier three except for I I I really appreciate it. Headbuster 18 has resubbed for 15 months at tier one. Yo, thank you very much for the 15 month resub, baby. Welcome back in. We got your 15 month right there. Thank you for the 15 months of being a subscriber. Okay, starting the stream off Hawk Hal with the tier three resub and Headbuster coming in there also with the resub. Thank you very much for the resub, master. But yeah, subbing at tier three literally gives you... No, wait, wait, wait. There is actually... Uh, a couple benefits you get access to a couple golden emotes on the stream that's it that's all you get there's no there's nothing else it's just it's just a nice way of supporting the stream if you if you just want to go ahead and be like hey i don't completely hate this stream and i guess i kind of like it that's what tier three is for i guess i've gotten more depressed since i've upgraded to tier three there's many benefits i swear I just can't list any additional benefits except for the golden emotes. Yeah. But what more do you need? Golden emotes. They're totally cool. They're not just other emotes with a gold filter on them. No. They're completely made from the ground. Okay, they pretty much are, but they still look kind of cool. And the silver ones for tier two. Yeah, yeah, both of those obviously in there. Hey, aside from that, there's, there's basically no, no benefits at all. So thank you very much for that. It's just a nice way of supporting. 
Thank you, Masa. But yeah, today, we're going to be hopping back in, playing some more Once Human. We played it for the first time yesterday. I unfortunately didn't get access to the last closed beta and the previous closed beta before that. I applied for them and unfortunately just never got access. Fortunately, this time around, I signed up for the closed beta way earlier instead of the week before, which is what I've done the last two times. So, eh, couldn't it be close? This time, I signed up months ago. I've been on the closed beta list for ages, so I got access straight away. And we didn't just get access to the beta. We also got invited into the creator program. And that might not mean a lot for you guys, but it means when we get access to the closed betas, and it means I've access to pretty much all the future betas from now on, if they do any additional ones, which we imagine they will. So that's nice. I know I'm just good to go. I get to play the game on every future update and every thing they decide to do. Two, we get to go ahead and actually submit info. We can actually go ahead and give feedback and, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. So, because they know the people creating content, people playing the game a lot and doing a lot of stuff. We obviously have our community members that give us information. I can go ahead and if there's certain things we run into, certain things we do like, certain things we don't like, some advice that we can give here and there. Nobody really wants advice from me, but other streamers and content creators will be able to voice their opinions and actually help the game, which is great. Me, eh, my opinions don't really mean all that much. So, you know, man, if we run into some major things, it's nice that we have a direct line of contact. So that's great. And number three, it means when they do any form of Twitch drops or event streams, we also have access to those. So if you've ever been around certain Twitch streams, sometimes games do collaborations with Twitch and certain streamers where if you watch this stream for an hour, you get this in-game item. I'm sure you've seen those before. You've joined in on some of them. It means when they go ahead and do some in-game drops, we will have access to those for our viewers. So whenever there's any drops going on for Once Human, I think this game is going to be huge, by the way. So very excited about this. It means when they do any Twitch drops, we'll just be part of it. So you can watch our stream and just gain those. And these Twitch drops usually pull new viewers to your stream quite regularly because people love free in-game shit that just looks kind of cool. So that's nice. We'll get an influx of a few viewers here and there. And it's, it's just nice just pretty nice. I mean, do you guys get some stuff? And we potentially reach out to some more community members. And then a couple other small things as well. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty cool. But yesterday was our first time playing Once Human. Never got to play it before, as I said. Really enjoyed it. Definitely gave me like a Daisy slash Days Gone slash... Um, oh, somebody, somebody described it really well yesterday. It was definitely Daisy kind of vibe. Big open map, other players, all that kind of stuff. PvE, PvP, looter shooter kind of vibes. Um, also base building, survival crafting. So we also have that. I guess that was the other kind of comparison. Um, but really, really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. I had a lot of fun playing it yesterday. One, I love me big open world zombies. This is lots of open world zombies and weird creatures and all these other things going on. Um survival crafting open world with other players so very kind of like rust slash arc vibes because of that you got the daisy open world with the zombies and stuff as well um and then you got like the days gone actual vibes there's motorcycles in the game to ride around the graphics give me some good vibes between days gone and daisy um which i think is really really good so there's a lot of similarities in there but we have done next to nothing in the game and i'm already pretty impressed with it i cannot wait to hop back in today and continue even more i signed up uh, the day before and got access noise so i know that pretty much anybody who is in our stream yesterday if you just went to the once human website and downloaded their launcher you just got access to the game so i believe all day yesterday i don't know if it's still possible today but if you made a character on day one you pretty much just have access to the game from yesterday up until future updates as well from what I'm aware of. So if you have access to this beta, you should have access to all future betas. But I believe it was capped at 150,000 new players. So if there was already players on the game and stuff, they don't really count 150,000 new players. Because I think there was like... 
9.9 million pre-registries or something like that. Something, something insane. So, but basically, if you just went ahead and downloaded the game yesterday, launched in and created a character, didn't even play the game, you just have access to the game, which is awesome. But I don't know if that applies to today or not. So we'll have to see some new viewers trying to access the game. So I know yesterday, that's how it worked. But today, I think you do need to have uh, a beta invite so you need to sign up on their website for the closed beta and just receive a game code if you don't receive a game code there's no other way currently to access the game could be wrong we'll have to just see but i know yesterday you could just basically download it launch in you're good you have access to the closed beta for the foreseeable future which is great today you might still get lucky depending on time zones and when the cutoff is. So if you haven't downloaded the game yet, definitely do it because if not, you might not get access. And then, as I said, if you're if it's too late at that point already, you just, well, sign up for the closed beta and fingers crossed you get an invite to it. I'm about to wipe my whole PC. Oh, let's see. Why well, are you going to do that? Updated video drivers. I know Apex won't get past the load screen. Oh, no, no, no. That's your, you're using NVIDIA GPU, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So NVIDIA has actually a new update. We're on their graphics drivers. So you know the way they brought, you know, they've, DLSS 3.0 now, which is amazing. And then they also have the RTX HDR, which kind of like is better than Windows Auto HDR. So they're two new features. But with the newest driver update, there's also RTX shit game protection. So if you launch a game that's shit, it will just refuse to launch the game to save you the pain and suffering. So that's just a feature. Yeah. So try it. Try launch a shit game. Your graphics card will just be like, eh. So Apex is a perfect example of that. You, you need to go into your NVIDIA tools and you need to turn RTX shit game mode off. SGM is what it's called. So just turn off RTX SGM. And uh, if you turn that off, it will allow you to enable SGM games, which Apex is. <laughs> but it loads Warzone fine. Oh, you might need to enable uh, SGM Turbo for that then. <laughs> yeah, you might need to enable SGM Turbo. Shit game mode Turbo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'll, save you, I'll save you a world of pain, man. Save you a world of pain. Yeah, no idea, actually. That's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Shit game mode. Love it. Yeah, that's eight solid protection. These new NVIDIA driver updates are amazing, man. DLSS upscaling and super sampling, ray tracing, fucking um, temporal as well. Uh, we have uh, RTX HDR for video and games now. And now we have shit game protection. <laughs> uh, hi. If it's your first time in the stream, I'm a professional idiot. I just literally chat shite 24 7. And I have no idea what I'm ever talking about, but I do it with a bit of an accent. So it's kind of entertaining i think i don't know although yesterday i was told by many tiktok viewers that i'm not irish and i'm making it up and i'm probably from new york and i'm one percent irish shit yeah so what do i know what do i know where i was born and where i've lived my entire life uh, well not for the last year i've lived in england for the last year now more than a year now year and a half i don't know but yeah who would have guessed who would have guessed? Yo, good afternoon, Nikki. How's your Saturday treating you today? Amp, have you tried Scum? Have you tried Scum Amp? Is Scum, 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 Scum. I'm thinking of Scorn. I have no idea what Scum is. What is that, Paul? Hit me with some info. Fake Irish confirmed. Yeah, just because I'm not on the internet being like, ah, oh, top of the morning to you, laddies. Welcome into the videos today. We're going to be going ahead and playing these new video games. It's like... Just because I don't make all my content based around an overemphasized accent, that's not a roast at Jacksepticeye. He's he's fucking crater goals, by the way. Lyle, uh, Jack, I'll suck your dick. Just saying. Um, just because I don't overemphasize my accent and use my country as my entire persona, people are like, you're not Irish. I watched an Irish guy play video games called Jack, and he's Irish and you're not. It's like... Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm from the Republic of Ireland. I'm from the most Irish, Irish part of Ireland. What do you even mean? I, none of my family members really have a super thick Irish accent. Well, my, my nanny and grand, they probably do. But like, we're all pretty, 
I'm definitely a lot less. That's because I just grew up on Xbox Live. I grew up playing Halo and Modern Warfare on the Xbox 360 with like a Turtle Beach X1 headset that literally rubbed my ears raw. Before that was the weird little Xbox headset thing. You guys ever used that? My days, that thing fucking destroyed your ears. Yeah, I basically just played against fucking American people 24 seven. So now my accent's just completely fucked because I'm, I'm a sponge. No Minecraft memes there. I'm just a sponge and I needed to like adapt their words so they don't understand what shit I was talking back to them. So now I've got this weird Irish American-ish accent kind of going on. Any American person streams like, you don't sound fucking American in the slightest. And Irish people are like, you sound American as shit. It's weird. Lou is like, you're Irish as fuck. And then Irish people are like, eh. And then American people are like, you're Irish as fuck. It seems like it's only really Irish people that are like, you're not Irish. Like, just because I don't sound like I'm from down the fucking country by doesn't mean that I'm not, okay? Mind your fucking business. Simple as. That's literally how some people talk. It's, there is so many different accents in Ireland. Yo, your junkies in Dublin. Ah, you couldn't spare you could you couldn't spare Euro for the fucking bus, could you? Ah, give the Euro, go on. I just need a Euro to get onto the fucking bus. It's like no. Just because I'm not fucking from Dublin or from Armagh or wherever the fucking I don't like have those insane accents. Doesn't mean it. Although, with that being said, my hometown, you guys should actually hear the accents from my hometown. They are, they are not the most attractive. So, I'm from a place called Drotada. But if you're a local from Drotada, the way you pronounce the town I'm from, you go, Drotada. Where are you from? I'm from Drotada. You want to go down into town? It's like, Jesus. Open the wardrobe. Go up the stairs. That's, that's, that's how fucking people from my town sound. So it's like, I kind of like that I don't have a super thick local accent because most of our viewers wouldn't understand the fucking word I say. And I speak pretty fucking fast and it's already hard enough to understand what I'm saying. But damn. But I did, I did find the funny. We roasted a lot of viewers on yesterday's stream. 99.999% of them being TikTok viewers. It was a lot of fun. I do love any excuse to chat shit to TikTok viewers because they just kind of come and go the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to people from Waterford, Drada don't exist. <laughs> yeah, I had some people. Who was it? I think I think somebody was asking me yesterday, is Leash a real place or is it made up? And I was like, what? Sure, yeah, it's made up, I guess. I don't know. It's like people just make enough shit. I, I think it was a test to see if I could even like read the word Leash because most people will see the spelling of Leash. Leash is also another area in Ireland. And most people will read it as like Laos, I think. The way it's spelt is like Laos. But that it's leash. So I think I think that was somebody seeing if I'd be uh, able to read the word. It's like, motherfucker, I'm dyslexic. I've lived in Ireland for like 29 years of my life, which is pretty much all my life. Up until last year, I'm 30 now. I've lived in England for the last year-ish or so. Um, I don't even know what some of the fucking streets in my town are called. It's like trying to trying to ask me name of certain places. I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. I didn't pay attention at school. I also I also didn't go outside played video games 24 7 i literally sat in my little room and just played halo 24 7 i didn't i don't i don't know i don't know i have been pretty much everywhere in ireland ireland's incredibly small you can drive from the very the highest point of ireland to the lowest point of ireland three four hours like does, doesn't five max like really doesn't take that long like if you're just direct like you can literally top bottom no time literally takes next i think from one side to the other is like tree because we're as east coast as possible east coast is the best uh, and i think they get from like the east coast of ireland to the west coast of ireland um from where we were like you just straight it onto the motorway highway and I, I think it was like three three and a half hours and then going from top to bottom is only an hour or two more than that which i find crazy because then you look at something like america and texas you can be driving non-stop straight in texas for what was it we had some viewers telling us this multiple times but you can be in texas and you can drive for 12 hours cons i think it was 12 hours let me know if i'm highballing that but i'm pretty sure it was 12 hours you can drive for 12 hours consistently straight well you know just follow the road and still be in texas excuse me excuse me 
Motherfucker, I could lap Ireland multiple times in that. He's like, is that true? Is that true? 21 hours to get from Texas to Nevada, 12 in Texas, and then 9 to Nevada from there. That is ridiculous. Man, I could literally loop the outskirts of my country, the maximum possible distance I could, multiple times in that time frame. That is... I could, like, loop it and then start zigzagging my way down the country. It's like, that's insane. That's insane. I'm just... I'm just a little country boy and I don't understand you big city people. Oh, 21 hours, you say? Oh, that's crazy. Where do all the cows go? Where where are your potatoes? That 21 hours, is that... Is that going around the potato fields or through the potato fields? <laughs> that's it is it is crazy it's, it's how it feels and like i'm just like pfft. just the sheer size of what i've grown up with and what is just normal to me to just the scalability of like a huge fucking country it's like yeah ireland is tiny though ireland is super super tiny like really really small but it's still mad crazy mad crazy like i've been most places around the world now but i just still find the scale of some places like that like you can be driving for 12 hours and still be in texas like what crazy i'm moving from waterford to limerick in about two months i uh, need to get out of waterford after being here for nearly 23 years yeah man nice get a new scenery in there easy stuff how long is the the actual move do you think is going to take you it's one thing Getting a new place, but then transporting all your stuff, figuring stuff out. You're going to get it done in one trip. You're going to have to do multiple trips. Fucking rent the van. Try everything you have in there. Go. Yeah, good. I'm glad you're getting in the good mindset of it. 21 hours. Uh, yeah, that was that one there. Top of Texas to the bottom of Texas is 812 miles and can be done in 12 hours. Oh, that's 812 miles from the top to the bottom. That's crazy. And then 21 uh, is with no traffic too. That was from, that was 21 hours from Texas to Nevada and then 12 in Texas. Then crazy. 21 with none. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. That's from Texas to Nevada, should I say. That's why uh, Europeans think US citizens uh, aren't well traveled. Man, if you're like countries and towns are that size, I can see why loads of people never leave their hometowns in America. Motherfucker, some of your hometowns is my entire country. <laughs> like, you know? But I think when people say like well-traveled and stuff, I think they mean like outside of your own country or a different continent basically in there, right? But I can see also why a lot of people you don't never leave america because you can literally drive border hit canada drive down hit mexico like you literally never need to be in a plane i think i think out of like most countries in the world i think america has one of the highest rates for people who've never been in a plane before like and that's like including like countries like um oh where where was it was it like um Oh, what was one of the countries? I, I can't, I can't fully think of it. A very, very like uh, low population, low income country, like like nearly ter third world level kind of stuff, um, which is insane. I think America was like right up there with the the average person or the amount of people who have like never been in a plane. But that doesn't mean they haven't like traveled hundreds of thousands of miles in total but it just sounds funny when you think of it like that as well hey pipes what's going on afternoon baby how's your saturday what time did you wake up at? are you just freshly awake where i live in south dakota i have to drive 120 miles which is about two hours to get to a walmart and mcdonald's that's that's mad i could have that, that seems really weird walmart and mcdonald's do you just live in like a weird ass like back area of nowhere because I taught, I taught like, um, I don't know about Walmarts now, but I taught like McDonald's. I taught like McDonald's had like some law, like internal law in themselves, where there had to be one McDonald's every one mile or something like that. <laughs> Maybe not quite that, obviously. But yeah, I, I taught like the average McDonald's was a maximum of like fucking five miles between each other. And then obviously that's the average. There's like McDonald's that are like side by side. And there's McDonald's that then are like, you know, a hundred miles away, for example, right there. But yeah, crazy. I live in the middle of pretty much nowhere. Yeah, Matt, seems like um seems like they're missing out on an opportunity right there. Because if you had like a Walmart there and a McDonald's there, they will pretty much have 100% of the business. But maybe they don't go into those areas specifically because 
the only like businesses in those areas are like you know man pa shops and stuff like that so like some smaller local stores so if they come in these big super stores and big chains they'll just completely well suck up the economy for that area so it's kind of like i guess finding a balance of where do we and where don't we but still crazy it's not like some little small mickey d's or small like superstores somewhere gonna drive two hours to get to a mcdonald's or to a walmart god damn how long does amazon take to deliver to you <laughs> yeah mcdonald's not being near you whatever man easy you're fine without that but having like a big old store like a wall we don't have walmart here um there's no walmart in ireland or in england uh there's other kind of close-ish stores nowhere near as ridiculous as they are but amazon uh one of the amazon centers <clears throat> one of the amazon fulfillment centers is about 10 minutes away from where i live right now uh, i've gotten same day delivery twice yeah which has blown my mind like i'll literally i've ordered something in the morning i'll be having like a shit the doorbell rings and i'm like what the fuck and then i'm like wait i i only ordered this like four hours wait what i'm like okay cool most things are like next day or a couple of days uh, depending on what it is usually next day uh which is nice but yeah i've gotten a couple things same day delivery and i'm like what the fuck uh, which i love but if you like live in london i think there's like same hour delivery for, for not all products but for a lot of things that they have in-house which is just mind-blowing i've never seen same hour delivery now but mad shit mad Amazon's like a week? Man, they need to start deploying some drones in your area. <laughs> Fucking Keith, how are you even watching this? How are you even watching this Twitch stream right now? Has 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 broadband and Wi-Fi and fiber made it to your area yet? Are you still on dial-up? Is there a hamster keeping the electricity running in your house right now? <laughs> how are you even on the internet, dude? <laughs> Keith was like, I'm in a shack right now. I got a 5G modem. Don't talk to me. And I have a Rottweiler running on a wheel to keep the electricity running. The hamster wasn't cutting it anymore. <laughs> Jesus, Amazon takes a week to get to you. That's mad. That's how you know. That's how you know. We actually got fiber last year. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, clearly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, actually, it's me excited. So where I'm living right now, I'm talking shit. But funnily enough, I don't have fiber where I'm currently at right now. So in Ireland, I've had fiber for years. Gigabit. Gigabit up, gigabit down. It was amazing. We then moved to England for my fiance's work. I can stream from anywhere. Same time zone and everything. Makes no difference to me. Ireland, England, same shit, basically. Whatever. So had fiber, gigabit internet in Ireland. Loved it. Amazing. Moved to England. Had fiber, gigabit internet as well. Loved it. Got a Jimmy. Jimmy's our dog. I'm sure you know that at this stage right now. Um, if not, check out my Instagram. He's a cute little fucker. So, uh, got a Jimmy. The place we were renting didn't like a Jimmy. They didn't like any dogs at all. So, we had to move. We then moved a little bit more to the country-ish side. We're kind of like on the border right now. But unfortunately, where we're currently living, no fiber. So, we're on like... I think max like 50 down, 20 upload. Which is good enough for streaming. While I'm streaming, Lou can't watch stuff in 4K. So, oh no, worst thing ever. Um, and sometimes certain things in 4K we can't watch because it just buffers too much. Um, but we're moving houses. We've officially, well, we're about to finish the signing. We just got our contract sent through um, digitally. The physical contract should be here on Monday, Tuesday, I imagine. Um, so once those contracts are signed, it is official and we should be moving into our first ever home because we've been renting for the last year and a half now. Uh, we'll be moving into our official home in probably about two weeks time, which is awesome. And one thing that's really, really nice is gigabit internet is coming back, which means I can stream in max quality and everything, which I'm doing right now, which is fine, but just about. And it means if Lou's watching Jimmy on the doggy camera and she's watching something on the TV, it's not going to make the stream lag. It's not going to make her lag. And it means I can upload YouTube videos in like no time. It also means when there's a new game update that goes live, I don't have to wait to download it the next day. I can just download shit straight away. So getting gigabit internet back is going to be so fucking nice. There's many other benefits to also having her own house too, but we're just that little bit closer 
out of the country that uh, back getting that fucking gigabit connection and I am excited for that. That's going to be very, very nice. And a few other things as well. It means new stream room. So I'm going to figure out some placings and setups of some stuff. There's some things in this stream room I would change up, but it's a fucking giant hassle right now to do all that. But the entire stream setup has to be taken down to be moved. So it means... Uh, it's a good excuse to set some stuff up. We're also limited what I can do in this room because this is a rented property. So it means uh, if I want to just fucking nail some shit to the wall or fucking not enough smear poop on the wall, I can do whatever the fuck I want. They're the only things I can think of right now, but that's going to be really nice. Dedicated stream room. That is just the stream room. <clears throat> this is just the stream room right now, but we can just do whatever the fuck we want in it. So that'd be nice, kind of going in, having a look and scoping out the layer of everything and setting everything up exactly how I want it to be. We're not really limited here right now. I could definitely change some things around in this room if I wanted to right now, but it's really just not worth it. Especially, we will ideally be moving houses in a couple of weeks. So that's that's pretty darn exciting. But yeah, that's all the stuff going on with us right now. Um, Gigabit internet. Cannot wait for that. But today, we're hopping in, playing some more Once Human. That's what we got going on. Excited to play some more of this. Uh, let me make sure all of this over here is updated and connected. That's looking good. Uh, also, for those of you who don't know, we're currently live on Twitch. Better be live on TikTok. We're live on YouTube and Kick and even Twitter right now because you can go live on Twitter now. I basically just use that to try push people towards our mainstreams. But uh, yeah, if, uh, if you're on... Uh, like PC or you can open up some tabs. You should definitely open up our, our uh, stream on some other tabs as well. Get us a couple extra views. Would appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. So let me see. Let's get the TikTok stream live. So yeah, live on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, Twitter, which is just funny. That's just kind of there to be there. And about to be live on the old TikTok side of stuff. And our chats are multi chats if you see you so if somebody hops over onto our kick stream right now and types in a kick stream you'll see it popping up here if somebody hops over to our youtube stream you'll see it over there as well somebody on tiktok you'll see it there twitter doesn't load chat the same way but i don't think anybody really comments on live streams on uh on twitter so that's fine but everything else literally right here test it hop over to one of our other streaming platforms and type in the chat you'll see little badges so you'll see here there's like the twitch logos that means those viewers are coming from you know, twitch believe it or not and then you'll see logos for like if they're on uh, in, uh if they're on uh tiktok youtube kick whatever else which is really nice as well so you can see all the chats across other platforms only you guys can see that the other platforms no they also see that tiktok doesn't though we don't want them to see all the chats they're not allowed all the chats. Uh, right, let's get the TikTok stream live. Once human. Save and go live. And copy you. And stream. Copy. Paste. Okay, just waiting for the TikTok stream to fully connect up. And then we'll be good to rock this bad boy and play some more of it. So we were playing Once Human yesterday. Absolutely, really enjoyed it. Cannot wait to play some more today. Really awesome. Open world, looter shooter, zombie, PvE, PvP. Kind of a mix between Days Gone and Day Z and survival crafting games. Fully makeup bases. All these other things. Was really enjoying it. Was really, really vibing with it. It was a lot of fun. So let's get the TikTok chat connected up here as well. Sometimes it takes a second to connect up the TikTok one. And you're going to do the thing. There we go. That should be connected now. Very nice. Um, yeah, see, look, there's Rash coming from Kick. The Kick logo is huge for some reason on that. Hi, Rash and Emperor. Good afternoon, guys. How are you guys doing today? Uh, uh, what actually, what actually, once human, I've seen a few people on it, but haven't watched any gameplay. Well, you're going to see it now in a second. Yeah, uh, you can also use our channel point rewards. In case you don't know, we've brought in new channel point rewards on our Twitch stream. So if you don't know how to use those, we brought in some really cool stuff. If you've not been around the last couple of days, we've brought in some really cool stuff, actually. So let me pull it up and show you real quickly what you do. But if you are on mobile, then the bottom of your chat, you'll have this little logo right here. That's the channel point reward. Click that bad boy and you will see 
these channel point rewards right there. Ask AI Spike, Ask AI Lou, Ask AI Pablo. And you can literally go ahead and ask AI versions of Spike, Lou, and Pablo anything at all. You can ask them stream-related stuff. You can ask them just random questions like, what is once human? You can check it out. So... In case you don't know, Spike is, well, Spike, he's basically the stream's punching bag. Pablo, personal friend, mod of the stream, been around for a while. He also streams as well. And Lou is, well, my fiance. We have literally taken their voices, turned them into text-to-speech. You'll hear Lou on stream, you know, doing some text-to-speech and stuff for us. But then we also turned them into AI text-to-speech, where you can literally ask them questions, and they will smartly answer. And we've given each of them their own personas, so that way they will answer accordingly, the same way that person would answer accordingly. So if you ask Lou one question and Spike one question, they will respond differently, depending on their personas. And we've added a few things in there, which is definitely really cool. So if you haven't already, Check those out. You can just use your channel point rewards for them. It's pretty much the only thing they're currently active for. Um, you can literally ask them super basic things, stream-related stuff. You can ask them super in-depth things. It is very, very impressive. Like, very impressive. But now it's time to play some video games and check out some more Once Human because that's what we're playing today. So give me some of this bad boy. We also logged out yesterday in the middle of a oh what what's the what's the area you're in in like some industrial kind of area so i'm curious to see when i load back in because there was a, a lot of enemies around us we weren't in combat when we logged out but there was a lot of stuff in the vicinity so we'll see what happens when we uh load in now once it's done doing its thing hopefully it's just all fine We'll find that in a sec. Game's launching. It's taking a sweet, sweet second or two. Morning, Ab Army. Good afternoon, Phantom. How you doing, Master? Bring on a AI Spike. Oh, fucking Spike, man. Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Hey, you can use your channel point rewards for those. They're they're very impressive. Like very, very impressive. Load us in. Had my first crash on once human earlier. Did I get a? Cr Did I have any game crashes yesterday? Mm, I had to close the game a couple times, and then there was updates after that. But uh, I don't think I had any actual game crashes. Yo, what's going on, Chris? Good afternoon, baby. How you doing today, sir? So yeah, let's load back in. Yeah, I don't think I had any game crashes yesterday, but we did need to restart our game like twice or three times. One time we had like no game audio. We had some audio, but it was just like ambient audio. Nothing else was in there. Um, and then what else? One or two weird things. Our bike wasn't spawning incorrectly. A couple of things, yeah. Your shirt looks like it almost says... Nice, Tom. It says Scout. Because it's from, uh, it's from, uh, Attack on Titan. But, yeah, I do see, I do see what you mean. Very close. If that, if that was an L, right? Especially my mic being in the way there. I do see that a little bit. Funny. Nah, it says Scout. It's from Attack on Titan. So this is where we left ourselves off last time. We were in this kind of, like, industrial area. We still have the mythical crate to find. We have the elite enemy. We thought we killed the elite enemy. It was not the elite enemy. Defeat 15 normal. Done. Find weapon grade. Done. Activate the rift anchor. Not done. Not yet. How many bolts do I have left? 32 bolts. I got some shotgun shots. 90. We're good. I do need to eat some food shortly. It didn't let me execute him. Don't you listen to me, boy. Yeah, it didn't execute him. Sounds like one of the big guys is mad at me, but... I don't see him, so we're all right. And I see you there as well, Chris. Good afternoon, baby. Watching on all the platforms. Anybody else? Oh, hello. Oh, my days. That's, that's a couple... Hey, eat this. But I got 13 energy left in it. Cool. 
Is this multiplayer? Yes, this is. Think of it like a DayZ. Big open world map, loads of other players on the servers. Bat. I am currently over encumbered, so I cannot sprint. Uh, let's see. 89 out of 70. Oh, it's because I'm a bit hungry. I was like, I should have been like 90. I should be good. Uh, I think it's just from some hunger. So let me eat some food here. Does that make me good? Uh, not you. Okay. 88 out of 80. I'm 11% over. Um, is there... some? We're carrying a lot of stuff. Maybe we should make our way back to our base and go scrap some shit. I would like to find the mythical crate in this area before I do that, though. Would like that. Is this one's human? It is. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, shit. They can grab me? Smack. 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 Thank God we can just kind of like smack these guys down. Oh. Bye. Okay. We're, we're all good. All right, let me hydrate a bit as well. Yeah, I would like to find the mystical crate in this area before we do fully leave. Okay, what's my what's my execute? Oh, it's just F, yeah. Bye. But yeah, this is online only. All active servers, tons of other players in the servers too. PvE, PvP, open world, zombie, looter shooter, survival crafting as well. Like it's kinda hitting all the things on the head. It's it's, it's pretty sick. Speaking of hitting things in the head. Nah. Shoulder bash. Bye bye. Yeah, you think by the vibes of the game right now, this was like uh, solo only, but no, this is strictly online. All servers. So if I was a mythical crate... Where would I be? I also got to remember, there is a dodge in the game, too. Should probably use that a little bit more regularly. Don't notice me over here. Parcel box. A wireless router. Getting that fucking modem upgrade, man. Is there ladders? I'd like to say the mythical crate could be up there, but... Oh, there's stairs there. Lead true to you. I think we should definitely go check it out. I think there's definitely potential. Let's go see. Let's go see. And then we need to go back, make some more bolts, scrap a lot of stuff. My inventory is getting quite full right now. Hello. Helmet or not. Bye bye. Yeah, climb you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sneaky. You can ride your bike down that ramp. Yeah, I don't want to waste the fuel, though, because I've only got, like, one spare fuel tank, so I don't want to just use my bike for no reason. Maybe on the way out. Yeah. Just because I've only found, like, one fuel tank, and I'm not sure really what I'd have to do to get more. So... You up there. You lead to that one. You go up a little bit higher. But the fact that we have this thing here, I imagine I should probably go up this one first. And there's some actual player structures. Somebody has built this. That's one thing we want to do. We want to start making up our own big proper base. Right now we just have some basic stuff. What is... What's that all about? Okay. For now we be sneaky. And see what we can find. 
Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give You're not gonna attack me, are you? Well, you've been attacked by crates before. <laughs> Dodging away, just in case. Case, what's in this bad boy? Energy link, stardust, and some stellar stuff. Okay, that's not the mythical crate. Uh oh. You think that thing is the elite enemy? It literally has a drill for a head. Some of the creatures in this game are really sick. Like, really, really cool. I want to shoot it. Oh, there's another one over there as well. Oh. There's an elevator over there. Oh, and there's a player in the elevator right now. I don't Actually, I don't think that's a player. But there's an elevator that brings you... At least to that level. I think I can get it there from here also. We're going to go find that. Do you build just find shelter? Full building. Yeah. Full building. Get resources. Make your own little base. Somebody has built this right here. And it's just open on the server. So you can just build anywhere. Obviously, if somebody has already built an area, that area is theirs. Um, so I can't like build on that. That's someone else's area they've already built on. But the map is quite big. We are only... In this little section here, if I zoom out fully, I am literally only there. Which is cool. Right now, there's some areas of the map that are restricted that I'm aware of. I think one of the areas is being unlocked today. I think. Oh, that is a player. Hello. Oh. That's a dead end. I thought I could keep going up from that. It looks like that connects on the other side. Can I make it to that? Easy. And I imagine this also ends here too. No. Okay. To the elevator. Oh, is that the rift anchor? Let me go activate this because it's part of one of my challenges. Is this multiplayer? Yes. Think of it as like Daisy. The way you can hop in, run around the world and run into other players. Exact same thing. It's a big open world. So there's other players just off doing their own thing. So you don't like invite your friend into a private lobby. You literally go ahead and connect to a server. So you're connected with everyone else. So kind of like an MMO kind of thing. I guess it is an MMO really. Is this crossplay? It is only on PC right now. So there'd be no need for crossplay because it doesn't exist on other platforms yet. No Rift Anchor permissions. But it's part of my challenge. Elites and the mystic boxes on top of the factory. Look for a lift to use the stairs. So we found one of the boxes up there and we're better make our way up. So off we go. What game is this? This is Once Human. Is it free? It's currently in closed beta. The closed beta just went live yesterday. Uh, if you went onto their website and downloaded it, you just have access to the game for free. Um, but I think that was just yesterday. I think now, I could be wrong, you might still just be able to download the game and play. Uh-oh. Back it up. I got a shotgun, baby. I missed. One second, let me kill this guy. Bye. They do a little bit of damage right now, so I need to be a bit careful. But yeah, I think yesterday, if you just downloaded the game and made a character, you just had access. I think everybody could sign in and play. I think today, you do need to apply for the beta to have access. Uh, you might still be looking time zone-wise. Just have a look on their website. Yeah. Boop. Yeah, let's have a look on the website. So, we seen the lift was like here. So, do I just get onto it from the bottom? Maybe. Bap. Man, the starting crossbow is sick. Because you, you get your bolts back and stuff too. And like its headshot multiplier is really, really nice. And it's quiet. Okay, I imagine this is our lift here that we need. So, that right there. 
is a real player. Well, pretty much every player is a real player. But yeah. All the way then. Let's see ya. And up. I think he's AFK. I also need to figure out what my push to talk button is. So that way I can chat to people in proximity chat. Where's the background in the back? Well, there's the crate. Where's the elite? I'm not going to question it. You're a bit thirsty. Yeah, yeah. AKM Pioneer and Assault Rifle Schematic. Okay. Yo, I'll take me an AK if I can, man. You are fully hydrated. So where's this elite? Think he's up higher? Let's see if we can get up a little bit higher. You send that guy back down? <laughs> oh, that's the call up. One sec. I need to do it from this side. Bye! Bye-bye. Oh, I think I found the elite. I think I found them. Okay, let me see. I need to uh, figure out what my actual talking button is. Voice chat. Chat button. Key. Listen to chat. Voice chat. Nearby. Team. No, I want to hear nearby. Oh, shit. Okay, I actually do damage to him. Nice. He's charging his lasers. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got to kill his head and his body. Oh, hey, he's back. Hello, can you help me? Level seven. This is like a level 15 area. Little heal. Boom, dead. Give me your goodies. That's it. It says elite enemies defeated zero. Is that not the elite enemy? Or is it because I killed his head, not his body? That's got to be from an elite enemy. Those are good items. Weapon crate. There's a weapon crate up those flight of stairs. You can add screenshots to stuff? Sick. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we got distracted. I was setting on my push to talk button so I could talk to people. Uh, sound, voice chat, microphone volume, it's a volume chat, key. Um, off. Okay. So, push the talk, press the designated button. Yeah, okay. So, key binds, I guess. Binding. That's building stuff. Standard combat via standard? Where is chat? Is F3, that's stand, that's game chat, not voice chat. There's another chat. Voice chat. Shortcut conflicts with the copy building part, which cannot be changed. Uh, okay. So, voice chat will be... So I can't use that button. Uh, can I use... Use alt. Never going to accidentally really press left alt. Cool. And I can still walk around while holding alt. Not the perfect button, but it'll do. Oh, there's the weapon crate. The game is called Once Human. Stab. What's in the box? Energy. We get a gear mod. We get some items, molotovs, ammo, and ammo. Thank you. I'm still I'm still gonna keep going up if there's more stuff for us to look. Set it to Alt F4. 
Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, I don't think I can climb that ladder. I don't think ladders are climbable at all. Yeah, no. King of Castle. Gah! Who could say no to a crying child? Come on! I think he's taking the elevator up. I got 30 seconds. Come on. Come on, come on. He's coming up, he's coming up. So that's how far you have to fall to, to break your ankles. We now learned. Can you revive me? I died to fall damage. Yo, thanks, dude. You're the best. Thanks, dude. <laughs> it's funny because you have a glider and I died to fall damage. Yeah. Sounds, sounds about right. Okay. Pretty pleased. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know what that was, but that that's none of my business. What is that? A launcher. Tell me more. I got a launcher. Summon it in. Come on, let's go. Did not summon? Oh, it did. Go, 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 go. Bye. Outies. Beep, beep and stuff. Well, horn's pretty weak. <laughs> Thanks for all the looties. Lot, lots of good stuff, actually. Lots of really good stuff. Any word in this game had an Xbox? Yes, there's been many awards. As of right now, PC only. The game hasn't even been released yet, so this is like a super early close beta. It's like 0 0.3 something something. A game is nowhere even near full launch yet. So it'll be a while before it's on any systems outside of PC. Although they are trying to launch a mobile once human games. So who knows? Maybe actually. So, I was told that I can relocate my house whenever I want. What if I want to do that, like, right now? How do I go about doing that? Move territory. I figured it out. I don't need you, stream. I do for many, many different things. So, you can build up your home wherever it is you want it, and then you can just move the entire territory. Cost zero right now. So I've just moved my home to here. In the future, it will cost me more to move it. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. And we can move stuff around pretty freely too. Okay, that's nice. The fact that... So this was everything I built at the beginning area of the game, and I was just building something very simple to be easy, and then I was going to build a new base somewhere else, but then chat was like, hey, build your base wherever you want it, and you can literally relocate your entire base, and it's that quick and easy. That's pretty damn sick, man. That's pretty damn sick. Okay. So, let's start expanding. Server verification in progress. Let's expand overlays with existing. I want to, I want to attach you to here if possible. Overlays with 
Collectibles. I don't know what that means. I want to expand this. And you can't build incredibly rapidly because we'll fuck with the server. Yeah, overlays were collectible. Interesting. Because I want to get a nice big square footage going on so I can start throwing up walls and stuff. Does it mean... Oh, when it says collectibles, does it mean like resources? Like those kind of collectibles? So if I chop this down... Oh. Okay. Well then, why, why can't I place... Here. Overlays with existing building structures. Well, I'm trying to expand. Because I can build all the way to there. So I have this big old square. And I'd, I'd like to fill this entire big old square. And having a flat ground to work off of would just be a little bit handier right now. So inside this wide area is as much as I can expand to right now. Okay, we gotta harvest these. Let's get these out of the way. Pal World version 2. Yeah, I love me some games with survival crafting in it, man. They're definitely like, they're definitely things that catch my interest a lot. There was a brand new Pal World update that just went live like yesterday, but this is a closed beta. It's only active for X amount of days. So I wanna make sure I get some time in with this bad boy right now, because Pal World's not going anywhere. We're gonna play some more of that. There we go. Yeah, once we move those items out of the way, we can continue to craft. Are you in the way? Yeah. Let's harvest you down. Afternoon up. Good to see you back in this. Yeah, man. We were playing it yesterday and really enjoying it. Playing some more today. We're expanding. Is it because these are too far off the ground? Do I need to, like... Hmm. Yeah, I might not be able to build these further down because of the depth, but we can still build these bad boys here. Okay, cool. Need to free you up. Can build you there. I need to free you up. Hello, I would like to harvest you so I can place my ground. Yeah, I really enjoyed playing the game yesterday. Big open world survival zombie MMO PvE PvP looter shooter crafting and all this other stuff. Yeah, man, it takes all the boxes for me. I like it. I like it big time. So right now we're just trying to set up uh, the basic boundaries of our first base. Insufficient material. You're insufficient material. Hello, Mr. Tree. So yeah, we're just scattered at this new area. Doesn't really have a lot of other people's stuff around it either. I'm gonna try build something pretty standard. And then of course, we'll later relocate our base again. Because we can, because that's just the thing you can do in the game. Super sick. I just want to access the game, man. Been waiting for so long. Uh, so yesterday, all you had to do was go to their website and download the game. Every single person who downloaded the game yesterday had guaranteed access. Download the game, make a character, guaranteed access. That was it. I don't know if that is still available today. You might need to have a closed beta invite from today onwards, but have a look. But yeah, if you were desperately for it, that's super unfortunate. You're at a wedding? Oof, bad timing, man. Sign up for the closed beta. Again, I don't know what time that cutoff is. I know it was all day yesterday, but I don't know if time zones take into effect. So you might be lucky. Go on to the Once Human website, download the launcher, and try launch the game. If it doesn't ask you for a code, you're good to go. If it does ask you for a code, sign up for a closed beta. Simple as. You can sign up for a closed beta as of months ago. Um, but I know people who signed up for a closed beta and got like instant access. So give it a shot. You might get lucky. You might get lucky. Give it a shot and let me know, dude. I'm curious. Curious if you'll just be able to get straight into the game or not. 
hope you do. Because I'm vibing with this. This shit's good. This shit's real good. Okay, chop you then. Placey, placey. Place. 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 Okay. I think that's a pretty solid square footage to work with. Nice part that expands out the front like that. I can't add anything to the side of you. Can I might be able to? No, probably not. Because he's raised too far off the ground. That's fine. So, what basic structures do I already have? There's our foundations already thrown down. Doors and windows. Walls. Wooden wall. Wooden wall too. They both cost 10 each. What's the difference? Oh, they've got little bottom borders on them. I need cinder blocks for you guys. Door frames. we got to unlock stuff in our memetic tab. But for standard walls... What's your side of them look like? And can we stack these? Oh, we can stack these. Excellent. And there's an arrow showing you which side they're facing outwards at. Sick, man. I've got loads of logs right now, so we can just afford to start throwing these bad boys up. Oh, that one might be funny to attach because of where the ground goes, because I don't actually have a pillar right there. So I might need to build you a little like this temporarily for how our ground works. You have left your territory. Huh. So I can place the ground here, but not the wall here. Can I place this wall here? It seeds your territory. I. It's literally on the line. It could not be any more on the line if I tried. Oh, okay. Oh, it came up. It came up green for a sec. Think I can. Uh... Literally right at the edge. Mm, so we can get rid of you and pull it back by one. Is what we could do what we might have to do. Place y'all down. Um, of course, we'll drop windows and doors and stuff as well. But just for now, I'm kind of just giving myself a solid visual structure to work with. Build a balcony. We got this little segment right here that overhangs. So yeah, probably I'll, I'll be moving stuff around where this current stuff is. Isn't going to be permanent. They will all be moved. Yo, what's happening, Rickety? Happy Saturday to yourself, my sir. How you doing today, sir? Yeah, we can make stairs and all this other stuff too to work with. Oh, actually, while I'm just harvesting some material, but even this is a pretty solid square footage. And I don't know what the deal is with making levels inside of your base. I imagine I can. So... We can start stacking. Uh, but while we're here, we should throw stuff into the disassembly. Pretty much everything in this screen is for disassembly. Thank you. And then, nope. Nope, and nope. That will give us a lot of new material to work with that we're going to need to craft stuff. we got a few blueprints and stuff as well. But for now, we need more wood. Is that the Japanese game? This is once human, so whatever that means to you. I'm sure there's a mobile game like this. So this is kind of like a mix between Daisy, Days Gone, Rust, Zombies, Looter Shooter, PvE, PvP, MMO, Survival Crafting Game. So if there's a mobile game that matches that description, then yeah. And yeah, pretty accurate. The forest, well, you can really throw in any survival crafting game. Minecraft, Pal World, any game that revolves you gathering material and placing material. Lego Fortnite. There's tons of survival crafting games. Yeah. 
is like comparing every shooter game to Call of Duty. That's just the category of game. And I like them. We play a lot of them. They're a lot of fun. A lot of people like watching them. Uh, also, for our TikTok viewers, if you do use Twitch, we're live on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Amplified. Definitely check out. It's our main stream. And if you can't spell Amplified, it says it right there on your TikTok. Get your booties over to the mainstream. And speaking of that, we got Nana coming in with that fresh follow. Thank you very much. Welcome into the Twitch stream. Yeah, make sure you hop over to the Twitch. You get the full stream experience, much higher stream quality, and a couple other benefits and stuff too. It's the mainstream. Get your booties over there. What game is this? It is this game. Yeah, which is once human. That is the name of the game. Oh, I'm going to need to make me another tool. I can still harvest with rocks, right? I like that if your harvesting tool breaks, you can still harvest stuff. It's just significantly less efficient. You're not like, oh, my tool's completely gone. I got to go instantly make a brand new one. I like you can still basic harvest. That's really, really nice. Okay, how are we doing for wood right now? Oh, that's too big of a tree to harvest. How are we doing for wood? Cool, nearly 500 pieces of wood. We should be pretty good. We're starting to scale up our base, starting to set up a bit of a blueprint kind of thing going on. We'll move shit around their base as well. Um, this is right on the edge of our base. Um, how far for our build terrain are we over on this side? Okay, so we might be able to build you... So I might need to bring this in by one on that side and out by one on this side. Yeah, I have more space on this side. So on the other side, I'm literally at the border. I can't even place a wall. So I think we'll expand this side out a little bit. So we got to demolish that. It's a clean little animation. I like how quick it is. You get all your material. I, I think you get all your material back by doing that. And... What do we got? Overlaps with collectibles. Okay, that means there's just some stuff on the ground that my base is colliding with. What's this game and what's it about? Once Human, and it's about Once Human gameplay. Place. Place, nice. Okay. And then that's too high for us to place, right? Yeah, that's where the height really starts coming in. That's fine. And we need to... So I've added one on that side-ish. And then we need to take one off on this side. So from here. Because they were too close to the edge. So that should now, ideally, good. Now I'm hoping there's enough space on the other side to be able to throw up the walls as well. And I'm aware there's no doors or ladders coming into our base right now, but we'll just leave an opening as I unlock more stuff. So, oh, it's right on the edge on this side too. Will it let us build? Place you there. I can place you there. I don't know if it says exceeds terrain range, but I'm not sure if it's actually just a tree that's getting in the way. Let me try choppy chop and see. Can't actually take down that tree. Because I need a tool for it, right? Oh, I have already harvested the tree. It's just invisible. Then that probably means we're at the max... Yeah, exceeds terrain range. So. So we took one away from one side to add one on the other side. Not happening. We just have to take one in on one side. That's it. Nice damn. Not where I meant to place that. I'm going to need to move that bike. 
I have a lot of stuff that we got to move in here. Demolish you. So, how do I move you? Got okay. Let's put you there for now. Learning how to build and works in this game. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay. It's pretty good square footage. Couple corners, nooks and crannies, not just a straight rectangle. Couple areas to throw stuff. And ideally, I'm hoping I can build levels in the base too. That's what I'm hoping on right now, but we'll kind of just have to see how it all works. So let's move some of these things around. Is that the front of you? It is. Furnace, crafting. Just draw our basic stuff up for now. Territory core. I guess that has to sit there anyway. Gear station. Boom. Okay, you sit there. Upgrade territories requires memetic stuff. Let's see. Structures, facilities, terrain coordinates, terrain ranking, repair everything. Oh, that's kind of handy. And we can name our terrain too. Nice. Okay, okay. Very nice. So, let's go check out a cradle. And I got 23 ciphers to do some upgrades with. Uh, so, I already got you. What do I need for you? Yeah, we should probably get some copper items. Make a little bit of sense. Bronze casting. Learn about bronze casting. We're more than likely going to need some of these items. And then can't proceed past there. Resource detection. A basic ore detector that scans and marks minerals in the environment. Yeah, sure. Why not? If I'm looking for specific things. Okay, and these start costing energies now too. For a bronze pickaxe. Yeah, that'll definitely be helpful. What do you give us? A refining factory. Okay, there's a lot of infrastructure stuff upgraded. That's going to be really, really nice. Uh, we have our essential tools, ammo, gear. We can upgrade to basic gear. That's two of those points. I have a total of 11 left. Recovery, HP, adrenaline shot, which is for a revive. We should probably get that unlocked. Probably be helpful. In here, stoves, cooking, air, air drying. Planting, compost bins, loads of food stuff. And here's full structural stuff. So this gives us all our wooden support. Storage. Yes, absolutely need some storage. I've got six points left. Garage. We already have our garage. Wood. Wood doors and windows. Yeah, definitely important. Lots of roof stuff. What's that leave me on? I got two points left. Stairs. Stairs is two points. Yes, please. So we can start making secondary levels already. And then I've just used all my points on uh, on infrastructure and on crafting. We've unlocked a good few things. I was holding on to those points until I learned a little bit more about the game. But I think it's about time we start spending some of these now. Can't wait to finish building my PC. About halfway done right now. Oh, speaking of that, we actually have a, a temporary promo going on with Zydak. I did post this on my socials, but today, the first person who buys a PC using their discount code AMPLIFIED gets a cheeky little discount as per usual, but Zydak will also give the first person who used that code a free game on them. I say on them because I'm not buying it for you. They are. So yeah, nice little promo. If you're looking to buy a new game PC, check out Zydak. They're a stream PC sponsor. They're amazing. We've done loads of stuff with them in the past. Lifetime warranties. All the good things. Exclamation mark Zydak into the stream chat. But as I did say, if you use our code, you get a nice little discount in there, which is really, really nice. And you get a brand new game free on them. Free game of your choice. So check it out if you haven't already. Very, very nice. Who cares? Your mother cares. Yes, very much. Right, let's see. So we have a lot more new crafting stuff now. We can start adding in 
door frames and stairs. So let's see. Wouldn't mind stairs going into that segment of it. I think that'd be kind of cool. So where is the stairs? There's roof. Is stairs interior? Stairs are interior. Straight stairs, wide short stairs, corner stairs, spiral stairs, and half pacing stairs. How much height does a normal set of stairs get us? Need you, need you down more. Well, that just kind of works. Okay. That was a little bit smoother than I was expecting. Wide w door frame. Smaller door frame. Kind of like that wide one. We got windows. We're going to definitely be trying up some windows. Let's go. Let's go weird wide door frame. Kind of like the look of that. And then we need to throw in some windows, so let's do corner spot, corner spot. Back there. Let's do you and you. One on the side there. Corner spots. And what are those ones? Let's put windows all in those locations I just opened up because they're the ones I decided on. So we have little bottom corners on them, fully flush. Yeah, nice. I'm a building. Probably get rid of a window or two, but we can adjust as we need to, which is pretty good. So, if I make stairs, can I add another level into our base? Interior. The game is called Once Human. Huh, not let me rotate the stairs like the other items. Place you here. Come over. Dun, 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 dun. Up right here. Now let's see. Can I just like add a second floor straight up? Is this an Xbox PC only? Do you stream anywhere else? We're live. Twitch is our main platform. We're live there. Definitely check it out. We're live right now on Twitch, TikTok, obviously, uh, YouTube, and also Kick and Twitter. But that's mainly just for social stuff. It's not even really the stream's just kind of there to be there, if I'm being honest. So, let's see. So the answer seems to be yes. I can just make a second level in our base. What's the idea behind the game? Entertainment? Same thing as most video games. Cannot be supported. Oh, we might need to build from there over first. Boom. Boom. I wonder if we can make, like, an overhanging balcony and stuff, too. So, we build insufficient material. I need more wood! 
But yeah, and that's that's a good height between the levels as well. One set of stairs over here in this corner brings us up. Whole secondary level. And I imagine we can stack even more as well. The second, uh, a second floor with two or three different staircases. All the staircases. All the staircases. Yeah, nice. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to actually make a harvesting tool because mine broke. Yeah, it's looking pretty stacked up already. Need more tools. This is our supply workbench. Adrenaline shots, you. Fishing rods, eh? So is a bronze axe better than a copper axe? Yeah, I would imagine so. So for you, we need logs, bronze ingots, and hide. I believe we can start making bronze ingots with one of the things we just unlocked. But we need to get those to begin with. So... And for copper stuff, just need logs and an extra hide from animals. Okay, so crude one for now it is until I get those items. Let me go grab... Can I jump through these windows? Ah, oh, sweet. Excellent. That's nice. Yeah, let's get some basic logs right now. Just so I can craft what I need so I can get a better tool. No, this game is twice human. I'm going to start telling people that. I like that. That's good. I heard this was quadruple human. Yeah, is that alright? Quadruple human? No? Fishing rod as well. Yeah. You can craft a whisper. What does that mean? Used to drop protect. Oh, that's what they wear. The little player notes. Fishing rod. Love it. Yeah, obviously want to start crafting you guys up. We need to start making those ingots. Flashlight. Wait. It's GTA 7 Remastered. Wow, what a game. Uh, what a game. That's crazy. Smack. Hey, find the game. I'm, I find it to be a lot of fun so far. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, Cookie. I'm enjoying it big time. I'm liking it. Big open world MMO survival crafting looter shooter PvE PvP zombie survival game. I like those things. I like those things quite a lot. Yeah, it's pretty sick. And weird stuff in the game too. Not just like zombies, like weird creatures and all these other things too. Pretty interested. Yeah, only played it yesterday, but I really enjoyed my time yesterday. And excited to play some even more today. Yeah, some good stuff. Okay, I've got like 500 gravel. We're absolutely good for gravel. I need more wood because I used up most of my wood building stuff in our base right now. It's about time we start building up some stuff. And we've relocated our base. There's like nobody's bases in this whole area, which is nice. Moving it out from, like, one of the main starting areas. Getting into, like, the level 15 area. I'm only, like, level 7. But we survived there. Hello, random player. This is a PvE server, so I'm fine. Oh, but I did get a blueprint for an AK as well, so I'm gonna have to check that bad boy out. Okay, and there is over 500 logs. Sorry, Mr. Deer, but I need your hide. No hide. I guess I need not just a phone. I guess I need something a little more. So... Got my tool made. Yeah, let's get everything else. The events you can run across can be PvP, even on PvE servers. Yeah, you can, like, enable in certain areas. Yes, chat told us about that. Which I think is super tight. Oh, that's... That's touching. 
That is too close. You're fine. You're not. So I wonder if I can like move this garage thingy, build up the rest of that. Come on, over this way. Right here. Yes. There we go. So that, that just makes the support once they're connected. Okay, so we ideally need to move this so I can finish building the roof. But will this fit in anywhere else? Uh, relocate. Mm, it might be slightly too big. Um, maybe... Maybe I leave, like, an opening in one of these corners. So, if I do that, will that be enough for it to fit in? Let's move you. Because I ideally want to make, like, an overlook area on that side. I've opened up the area above, but... You should not be in a fan. Now, I could just move this up onto the top level, I suppose. And we can make the top level, like, two stories high. Let's drop you there for one sec. Place. Place. Yeah, we'll just place you up here. Because you don't actually drive your vehicles from this. This is just your garage spot. You don't actually drive your vehicle from it. Like, your bike never actually moves from there. But it just needs to be structurally in your base. So, we'll just leave it up there. And place. And place. And we need to turn this one because it's sideways. Okay, second level. It's pretty exciting. Is the game still in beta? Yes, closed beta right now. Have this in the corner for our stairs. Makes a little more sense, I think. And boop. Little stairwell. Bam, bam, bam. So it's 10 wood per wall. And we can make multiple levels, which is very exciting. My building rating is 154 right now. Is that for the amount of items that's in my build? It goes up by one for every wall I place. Have I already placed 100 and something items? So what do I have? For structure, we can go up to 300 pieces in the structure. Decor and accessories, 100 pieces. Facilities and fur uh, furniture, 100 pieces. And power generators, 0 out of 0 right now. So I've placed 145 structural pieces. I plan on using the full 300. Because why wouldn't I? All the... Wait, I'm going to destroy some of these walls and put windows in instead. But we'll just get the resources straight back for them. Pretty good. The game is called Once Human. What's that? Mm, run towards the pretty thing in the sky. Run towards the pretty thing. And what's this? Be on your guard. Shadow Gatling. Oh shit.
Eliminate all deviants in the mist. Progress. Zero out of 30. Fifty. So I get a thousand bullets in this gun to begin with. Bad deviance. Bad. Forty-nine. Fifty. Loot crate is available. Take it or leave it. Remaining time. Oh, sweet. I don't know how to drop the current gun I'm holding. Figured it out. Just press F like everything else. And energy, portable mixed fuel, items, acid. Cool. So little mini world events and stuff you can do. Little challenges. Well, that was cool. Where's my base gun? This way, right? I'm not seeing it on my mini map. Oh, it might be because I'm still in the area for, for the event. Stuff might despawn while you're in it. Leaving the mist zone. Yes. Cool. So mist zones are like their own little areas. Very sick. And successful switched. Yeah. That's my base. Is this the division? No. So, how am I doing for wood right now? I was running I was running low, wasn't I? Yes, yes I was. Then I got distracted. Who would have guessed? Me getting distracted in video games. Now, this game is called Once Human. It's currently in a closed beta and it's only on PC as of right now. You can go to their website to download the game. As of yesterday, pretty much anyone who downloaded the game just got free access. I don't know if that's still available right now. Um, if it is awesome and if not you need to apply for the closed beta to receive access uh why is it using a rock i have an axe in my inventory it's right here there we go i have to equip at least once <laughs> hey what minecraft shader pack is this right it's a nice one it's a it's a mix of a, a new rtx shader as well with a nice texture pack Where's the closed beta at again? Their website, believe it or not. Oncehuman.com. Yeah, the obvious place you'd expect. They're allowing 10,000 people in per day join the Discord for a chance of a code. Is that how they're doing it? Because I know, I know yes, at least yesterday, you could just download the game and just launch it and you were good. And if you played the game yesterday, you just have permanent access. Well, while the beta is active, obviously, which is very, very great. Um... And then after that, from what I was told, was you need to sign up for the closed beta like everyone else. Which you can also just do on the website. 5,000 keys every 12 hours. Jesus. Yeah, it makes sense if they're doing 10,000 in 24 hours. Those maths would add up. Mad shit. It's cool, man. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get accepted into the partner program. So, that's really good for us. Yeah, it means we have access for all the betas. It means we can give direct feedback to the team, which is awesome because we can take stuff not just that I think, that you guys think as well, and we can give that back there as well. Um, and then also, whenever there's future Twitch drops, when they're doing any in-game events and stuff, you can get those rewards just by watching my Twitch stream, which is pretty damn sick. Pretty damn sick. Okay, lots of wood. The game told me I can have 300 structural pieces. My base shall be made out of 300 pieces. No more, no less. It's not where I meant to place that. Demolish you. I do like how easy the building is. It just kind of, so far, we'll see when stuff gets a little more specific. But so far, kind of works how you'd expect it to work, which is pretty nice. So, if we were to add just a roof, make this two stories for now, make it easy. If we were to add this, 
exterior stuff. We have our stairs, doors, and windows. Oh, there's actually full doors. I just kind of had an open archway. Can I actually add a door in here? Uh, build. Doors and windows. Oh, shit. Look at that. Haha, <laughs> cool. I thought we just needed to have, like, just a big open archway. We don't. Sweet. We can add actual windows into the window frames. I need glass for that. How do I make... How do I make glass? That's... Furnace. Oh, this is how I make uh, bronze ingots. Charcoal and tin ore. We haven't started farming any of that. Glass. I just need... Oh, I'll need this charcoal. Excellent, man. Sweet. Let's get them going away. Cool. I like it. I like it. The game is called Once Human. PC only. Currently closed beta. Go to their website for access. Boom. That's literally all you need to know. Anything else, you can Google it. Because the internet's great. Uh, also, for any of our TikTok viewers who use Twitch, definitely get over to our Twitch stream. It's the main stream. Full stream quality. Uh, well, full stream where you see everything. It's not just cut off edges, of course, in there. So you can go full screen, which is great. Uh, 1080p, 60 FPS, much higher stream quality than here on TikTok. Much easier chat where you can actually scroll the chat and loads of other stuff. Twitch.tv forward slash amplified if you use it. Get your booties over there. Don't forget to hit the follow button. Thanks. What kind of enemies do they have in this game? Uh, hostile. Hostile ones. Yep. Yeah. Ones that are hostile. Game is amplified. I am amplified. Game is once human. What fame is it? Two. It's about, it's about two. Now, give me my charcoal. Glass! How long is that? Oh, glass takes four minutes for... I made, like, what, 50 of them or something? Yeah, 50. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So while waiting for that, we can start throwing windows up on the second level. Actually, how much does each one of these actually take? Three pieces of glass. I kind of like the idea of making the entire... Bottom level, all glass windows. Every single wall. Don't know if that makes a lot of sense to you. Maybe we do that for the second level? Maybe bottom level, we keep all nice and normal. Maybe second level, we make every single one windows. Because we have a height profile where we can see out and down. Yeah, maybe we do that instead. That's going to cost us a lot of glass, but I'm okay with that. So we're going to get rid of every single one of these wooden walls. And we're going to replace every single one of these with walls with windows. So that way we have a big kind of like Overwatch vibe. And it's the joys of creating custom bases and stuff. You can kind of do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, that's just for our stairwell. So we're going to leave that as it is. And that means you also. So we need frames to begin with. These ones here. And then maybe I get rid of the windows downstairs then? Maybe we don't keep... Maybe I have no windows downstairs at all. Just windows on the upper level? And maybe the bottom level is just storage? We'll figure some stuff out. Okay, I think I just placed one downstairs accidentally. Oh no, I placed you there. Cool. Cool. Click. And we got we got some time until all this glass is made as well. And also, thank you to the devs for actually making a usable flashlight in their video game. Appreciate that. So many flashlights in video games are so useless. This flashlight actually illuminates stuff. It's quite nice. Our base isn't overly dark right now, honestly, but like we've been in rooms that are pitch black, turn on the flashlight, you can actually see. It's really nice. Does a wall having windows or not having windows affect its durability in case of like weather enemies and stuff trying to hunt the base? I'm actually not fully sure how that works. 
So I can't fully answer that. That's why I was thinking maybe we make the entire second level with windows for potential structural stuff. And maybe the bottom ones with no windows at all, if our base being raided is a thing. Kind of what I was thinking. So not 100% sure, but I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah. So we're going to get rid of all the windows on the bottom level. So that way the bottom level is just structurally sound. And then the entire top level is full windows. So we have full visual. And ideally maximum protection durability in our base. If that works. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. None of that corner. We're all good there. Click. 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 There's lots of other buildings and structures and stuff we unlock later on in the game too. But we can replace stuff very easily. And there's all this glass done. I imagine this probably isn't going to be enough glass to get um, everything that we need done. So all we're really missing is just more charcoal. So let's set you guys off so I can get more glass because I'm more than likely to need more for the top level. More than likely. Hey, yo, buddy. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, baby. Welcome in, welcome in. Good afternoon to yourself. How has your Saturday been treating you, sir? Okay, so for windows, we need to open you up. Doors and windows. We have you. Oh, I also need logs and adhesive. Well, I've got loads of adhesives. Does it say... So it doesn't say any anything about durability for windows, but it does for the walls. So I imagine the windows then are fine. No, it also doesn't dare. That was a lie. It says wall 1,000 out of 1,000. So we'll see what it says when we put a window in it. You've left your territory. Oh, hey. Thank you. I need some hide. Come here. Give me some hide. One hide. I think I need one more hide to make my brass tool anyway, so... I'm good with that. We might need to also put more doors in this base because as of right now, my only door is on all the way around here. Just don't have to loop to my base every single time. So I might have like a front and back entrance. And I imagine there's some form of lights that we can start showing into. Give me those. Make some more glass. Uh, link to Twitch. Just type in the word amplified. Oh, I knew I placed an extra one somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in the position of my base I thought I was in. That was in the right place. I thought I was over this side. Are you standing up or very tall? Uh, I'm sitting down right now. I just sit very straight. I have I have an impeccable posture. Yeah, that's all. And you just my chair is You don't really see. I don't have a big giant gaming chair behind me, so you don't see all the back of it and stuff. My body kind of perfectly covers my chair. But no, I'm just sitting there and I just sit very straight. I'm six foot tall, which is nothing insane. Right, let's see ya. Wait, I still need more logs. Did I not grab more logs? Oh, and then I made more charcoal with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Uh, that tree's not actually there. Looks like it is. Hey, let me... Give me the option to harvest. All of these trees have actually been chopped down, but the visuals for them is still there. That's fine. Grab some more stuff as we go. What is this? Open world survival? This is an MMO. So think of like DayZ vibes where you kind of connect to a server. You have the whole map, but there's also other players playing on the entire map. Things they do affect your world and everything. So this is an online MMO just like DayZ. 
It is also a surviving, crafting, zombie, looter, shooter, PvE, PvP game. Does that cover it for you? There's a lot to the game. There's a lot to the game. But think of it as Daisy mixed with Days Gone mixed with zombies and survival craft. Yeah, kind of like Rust. Kind of like Rust as well in there. Yes, yes. I think that's very solid. I think closer to Rust then, actually. Yeah. So like Rust with zombies, other weird stuff as well. Then you've all the survival crafting of pretty much every survival craft game. You can be like Minecraft, The Forest, definitely Sons of the Forest, Lego Minecraft, uh, Lego Fortnite, whatever, Pal World even. All just this. And it's only on PC right now. Yeah. And it's in closed beta. So you need to go through website to get access. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it big time. Oh, you know, we need to start adding into our base. We need to start adding in uh, storage. Yes. PC and phone. The phone release of the game, the mobile release of the game has been delayed. So there's no mobile version in this game right now. Just a PC version. Yeah, mobile version don't exist yet. I don't know when that's meant to be launching or when it was meant to be launching. I just know that it's been delayed. That's all I know. Yeah, because when I was applying for the game, I was like, do you want to apply for the mobile version of the game or the PC version of the game? I was like, wait, they're bringing this game on mobile? I was like, well, that's fucking sick. It was supposed to be between July and November 2024. Okay. Well, hey, they still have, they still have time for that time frame right there. I don't know if it's been delayed further than that or what the deal is, but eh, interesting. I need wood. Need a little bit more of these logs to make my windows. I have like 700 pieces right now, so I imagine I'm probably all right now. Yeah, these trees give us a lot. Yeah, this is the base we're building up so far. So as you're exploring the world, you can run into Tons of players and any inch. The map is huge. Right now, not all of the map is unlocked. I know they're unlocking a new segment today, I believe. But like over here is like the starting area. And you'll just be running into players left, right, and center. And anybody can make a base pretty much anywhere. It's quite crazy. It's quite crazy. Close this. And give me the rest of what I need. Okay, let's see if that's enough glass to do what we need. Oh, people who just spam the chat, I just blank them. They lose attention pretty quickly and they'll just move on to the next stream. So, yeah, it's better just not give them attention. Just blank them. It's usually like nine-year-olds, incredibly impatient and stuff like that. They'll just spam the same question and repeat. Ignore them for literally five seconds. They don't get the instant acknowledgement they want. They roll to the next stream. They're never going to stick around anyway. It's fine. It's just part of it. Okay. Let me make my windows. I have 87 pieces of glass. It's three per piece. 835 logs, three per piece, and 270 adhesives, one per piece. So yeah, nice. You can start throwing all these windows now. We might need more glass because we're going to make every one of these glass on the secondary level. Bottom level, zero glass, zero windows, full structure. <laughs> Maximum protection. Top level, glass everywhere. I don't know if it makes the most sense or not, but it could look cool. The joys of crafting. Down to 18 glass. And we are only a couple pieces away. One, two, three, four, only five. Five more windows left. Okay, nice, man. The base is coming together. So let's make up a few more pieces of glass. Furnace. So we just need more of you. These craft pretty quick. Basically one per second. So wait for them to craft. Hmm. I am not nine years old. My apologies, Rolf. How dare I? How dare I? Ah, also, Shane and Jason, thank you for the follows on Twitch, boys. Welcome in, welcome in. Good afternoon. How's your Saturday? How many players per server? That's actually a good question. I am not sure. If you want to go give that a Google and educate us, that would be great. Because I have actually no idea. 
It's a good thing I'm chunky or the wind would have blown me away. Yeah, it was windy as fuck yesterday as well. Yeah, it looks like it's windy all day today as well. There's our charcoal, glass. That will allow us to make 41 more pieces of glass. Don't think I need 41 more pieces. Let's make this many more. Let's make 15 more pieces, which only takes a minute. Mm. Yeah, it's funny because the temperature is starting to get really warm again. But yeah, it's like windy as shit. Yesterday was like the warmest day in like months. And then today's today's been quite warm as well. Maximum of 18 today at 17 right now, which is nothing insane, but it's getting there. I think I thought they said it was meant to be like getting into heat waves soon. I don't I don't quite know about that. Come on, give me my glass. Where about you from? I'm Irish. Come on, make all the glass. I need more. Yeah, we were out today before I was streaming. Brought uh, brought Jimmy and Ash for a walk. Put Ash in her stroller. Nice little loop around. She's been outside a total of five, six times now. The second she's outside, she falls asleep. Like, she has never experienced the outside world. She's been outside many times. She has never experienced the outside. Asleep instantly. Yeah. Instantly. I'll drop you a follow. You're a cool guy. Don't do it. It's all of a sad. You will regret following this stream. I actually recommend you block this stream. I wouldn't recommend following me. I'm a terrible streamer. Anything you like now, th this this is the p it doesn't get any better than this. I'm telling you how it is, dude. Just telling you it is. Yeah, it literally only gets worse from here on. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And I made the exact number of glass that I needed. Yeah, cool. Second level, this is this is where our uh, stairs are, so I don't have anything there. Second level, every wall with windows in it. Yo, what's going on, Frederick? Good afternoon to yourself, baby. Welcome in, welcome in. How's your day been treating you, sir? Okay, yeah. A lot of stuff, secondary level. Need to figure out a roof to put on temporarily for now. And we need some light sources down here on this level. Maybe a secondary door going into our base as well. Close, close the damn door. Oh, I did. Not bad, not bad. And then, of course, if we find the new area in the game we'd much prefer our base to be, we can relocate our entire base and a couple button presses. Yeah, so bottom level here, no windows, no nothing for maximum, for maximum like, structural integrity in case we get raided or attacked or I don't know how it works. So prepping for stuff just in case. Is your base floating on one side? Yeah, so we actually moved our base. And the way we placed it, some of these parts aren't fully touching the ground, but it's being supported by everything else. So it just kind of looks kind of cool, if anything. Yeah, those foundations just right there in the edge overhang a little bit. And so it's like, sweet. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So how are we doing for... We've spent all these and we've unlocked a lot of new stuff. So let's see. Yeah, we got Zach coming in. Thank you, Zach, for the resub, baby. Afternoon to yourself. We'll let Lou give you a shout out now in a second. So what else do we need? Here she comes. Zach1393 has resubbed for 21 months at tier one. Thank you very much, my G. Good afternoon to yourself. And of course, we got your 21 month resub right there. Thank you very much for the 21 months of being a subscriber, my G. Much you are today's third subscriber today. And we're only one sub away from breaking our current goal. 281 out of 282 subs. So close to that sub goal. Thank you, my G. Appreciate that. What else do we got? So we have our supply workbench and our gear workbench. I think I have one of each of those. Supply, gear, good. Okay. Disassembly bench, furnace. That's pretty much all of our main craft and stuff we have right now. We obviously need to make more. I need to start bringing those facilities in. Um... Furnace, we got. Disassembly bench, we got. 
garage we've got. Uh, refining fa uh, facility, that's something we're going to need to bring in. I need bronze ingots for you is pretty much all I'm missing. So we do need to get you because I need this to craft other items then uh, very soon. Storage, yes, we need fortifications. Oh, we can add fences, stone fences, wooden gates. Oh, that's cool. So could I add like fences around like the bottom of my stairs? We need to add all these new items in. I'm going to add fences. Yeah, could I like fence off here? Uh, I also wouldn't mind like adding like walls onto like this side of my stairs. Block off the corner a little bit. Because I still can build all out to here. Anywhere within this little white zone I can build in. It says you've returned to your territory. I'm still inside of it. So we need support first for you, clearly. So can I just, like, add these, like... Don't allow me to add walls against you then. There's one. I'd ideally like to add one onto there as well. So we have a little side area. Overhang. Yeah, like a little balcony vibe going around the base. Okay. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Okay, that, that's that's kind of that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Mm -mm. You're there, and then I can't really add anything there because how the stairs sit first. Well, that's pretty cool. Right. Let's see. Can I add? That's frames, interior you. That's our facility, storage, fortifications. Oh, one sec. What was one of those other fortifications? High fortification. A facility that protects allies while firing on the enemy and also provides some additional height. Oh, it's like a little podium. Yeah, okay, so stairs to give you a little bit of height and a little bit of cover. Yeah, it's kind of like a fence kind of combo together. Not exactly what I need right now, but still interesting. What else we got? That's functional stuff, power generator stuff, outdoor stuff. I got nothing yet. Log, metal scraps. Should we even like add that there? Space on the side. So I'd need to like build you out one or something. I'm trying to think how we line this up. What's the name of the game? I, I like to go by the name Jeff. Yeah. Only on only on Saturdays though. On Sundays, I like to go as Linda. Yeah, I want to do something a little more with this. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. I had that there. Can I still walk underneath this freely? Okay, we can. And then maybe I can build off of that then. I want it to build on the stairs. I don't want it to build on the stairs. Okay, let's build this around here. 
I wasn't sure if we'd have enough uh, headroom for that to fit, but we do. I don't know where I just placed that, but I just placed a piece somewhere. Oh, there it is. I figured out where I placed it. Build. Demolish. We don't want you up there. And then don't need anything on the back because that's flush. Cool, man. Into our base. Stairs over down below. We can go around here then. And then boom, flush with the back of the house. Nice. Still need to put a roof on this thing. I, I hope I have enough facility slots left over to actually still even add a roof onto this. What's the game say we're at right now? 224 out of 300 for our structures. We should probably get a roof on this and then figure out some other smaller aesthetical stuff. Just cause. So, what do I need to make a roof right now? Roofs. Tri roof, pitched, flat, corner spot, window spots as well in them, and then just straight up roof top. So, you guys are at 45 degree angles. Now, if I put you like that, you block our view out the windows. Oh, you can open the windows. Nice. Which we definitely don't want. So, because we don't want them blocking the windows, that will ruin a lot of stuff. We then need you like up there. the roofs don't hang down so they're not like this they're like this that's fair new dlc nope this is once human closed beta only on pc closed beta went live yesterday that's pretty much all you need to know so trying to think we then need little triangle wedges in those spots, right? Can we throw these in here too? Okay. Just figuring out size and shaping right now. What's the game? Entertainment. Like most video games. should be good to get a roof on this with inside our current structural limits. I need more wood. I can have used most of our wood, believe it or not. Also, can I just do this? Oh, that's nice. Can't just jump straight back in? No. Okay, so that's at least a quick way out of our base. We can just jump out the windows if we need to. This feels like Daisy and Sons of the Forest had a baby. Yeah, definitely see that vibe, man. It's hard to really kind of like compare this game because it's kind of like it's kind of like daisy it's kind of like rust the way everyone's on a server and stuff together and daisy kind of covers that too it also reminds me of days gone the vehicles the zombie combat and everything definitely gives me some vibes in there you then have all the survival crafting aspect of everything as well which definitely is a little bit more closer to um rust obviously so yeah it's kind of like a mix between rust daisy days gone um and then it's also uh, basically an MMO. Because it's everyone online in the same server with all the crafting and everything too. So I guess Rust still kind of covers a lot of that. Yeah, maybe just like Rust and like Sons of the Forest had a baby. And zombies. You gotta add zombies in there. So, so and Days Gone together. They had in PvP yet? Yes. It's been there since like the very first ever beta they done like over a year ago, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's when. 
up. Yes. Just play Ark. I'm just going to play this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to just play this game. Thank you for the recommendation, though. I don't really think Ark is a MMO survival crafting zombie PV, PVP looter shooter game. I don't think so. I'm going to play this. The game is once human. It's only on PC. Closed beta right now. Went live yesterday. You can download it from their website. I have no idea how many people are on one single server right now. Somebody asked me that earlier on, but uh, yeah, I have no idea. Give it a Google. Let me know. Yeah, let me know what info you find. Maybe we had a door in this back segment here. So that we have a door in the front and the back. And the fact that we have this kind of like indent... Yeah, let's add, let's add a door here. Uh, we'll add like a, like a single door. Makes sense. We got a big door on the other side where the stairs are. Small door on this side. And uh, then we need to actually put a door in it. Nice. Cool. So we have a front and back to our base now. All right, let's finish off making up our roof. Twiangles. You go there. Go there. No. Do we just use walls around you and flatten you off to be easy? Or do we add more? Okay, we can lap those right there. That will save us a piece because you don't need a flat roof on them then. We'll have to fill in that segment clearly. Flat wall, probably flat wall. Might need to use one of the try pieces if I want to keep this the way I need it to be. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, might need to use one of these in that corner instead. Let's see how that fits. If that fits the way I think it needs to fit. Perfect. Exactly perfect. Nice. I'm quite impressed with the craft in this game. It just kind of works how I assume it would work. So then for this corner here, this one's a little bit more awkward because it's in instead of out. So awesome. Yeah, awesome, man. Also, what's going on, James? Afternoon, baby. James Brandon Sippy Live has resubbed for eleven months at Tier One. Thank you. Thanks for, for all the content, Papa. Hope Lou, Ash, and you are all doing well. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate the resub. Welcome back in. We got your resub right there. Eleven months of being a subscriber. Thank you for the eleven month at that Tier One, baby. Muchly appreciated. Uh, you are the fourth subscriber of the day in there. Much love. Welcome back, baby. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're doing good. Building some shit. Ah, uh, this is the closed beta next. Yes, it went live yesterday. Don't know how many days it's active for. But enjoying it so far. So, let's add up these roofs. We are on 249 structural pieces right now. Ah, uh, I'll need one of these pieces over here the copy and paste is also quite nice as well uh, we might just have to demolish these then
Boom, boom. Thank you. Uh, same with you. Oh, two corners in a row. How did two corners work? We need this one. Is that right? Mm, I don't think that's what I need to add. Six weeks, I think, for the bit. Is that what it is? Six weeks? Oh, man. Excited. Cat your headphones. Are you for real, bro? No, I am AI. Thank you, user D-O-N-Z-M-T-B. I assume that's how AI would read your name. I don't know. <laughs> but no, I'm fake. What response are you expecting here? Let's see. Oh, I forgot about some of the window segments, too. Oh, we have straight wedges. Can I do... Just these two corner parts are kind of funky. Or what I need to add in. Put you down. That leaves these segments for the roof. Can we add in... Not quite. Oh, there we go. I was like, I know there's a structural piece for what I'm trying to do. I just can't figure out what combination of structural pieces. I needed one of the, the Vs going down and one of them going up, basically. All right, Potato, got to get ready uh, to do a gaming charity event. Yo, very nice. I'll leave you on the TV while I go uh, get red. Yo, enjoy, baby. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And good luck with your stream, Moxa. And... What kind of... I kind of like leaving that as an open there. If I could, like, fill in, like, a diamond window, that would look fucking sick. Do we have anything that covers that? Nah, just standard boring windows. Is there anything we can throw in that's kind of cool? Nah, standard boring windows. I might just leave that little thing open. Although I feel like a player is just going to throw a perfect grenade in there. That's that's kind of just the vibe I'm receiving. And now that I said it, it's totally going to happen. And we're, we're not in a PvP area or anything, so we're completely fine. But I just got a feeling something's going to go yeeting through that if I leave that as an opening. It's bound to happen, right? I need you to pivot. There. Oh, I think I need to use... 42. So we got you. Try them there like that. Gotta clean up that little corner spot as well. I think we will literally have just enough to build this base at the scale that we want it to be. I'm gonna hold up there while I sort this. Ah, that this is coming together pretty nicely. I might throw some windows in some of these as well. We can edit those very easily. Oh, one sec. Let me um, demolish you because one's the inside and outside of you. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, there we go. Just so it's color matching. They're both facing the same way. It's already released. This is the closed beta. So yes, the closed beta is released as of yesterday. The full game? No, not right now. I'm fine. What's the game name? One's human. PC only. Closed beta went live yesterday. Download the game from their website. 
That's everything you need to know. Okay, corner piece. Uh, I can probably just copy you. Show you up here. Now that will be a fun one to line up. for you you always need something more kind of like that yeah nice That gets you flush in there with that. I need to do the same thing with our staircase on this side so it also matches up. Uh, let me demolish those first. We want these facing outwards. I think I put them facing the wrong way. Right here. Right, right here, on the spot that I'm looking at. Yeah. Give that darker wood vibe if we put a face in that way. So then we get rid of you. We do a flat wall up and then show those triangle pieces. Same as this. I think we got the main stuff. He never looked at chat. I literally just read like the last 40 messages in a row. Uh, your question was probably the same thing. It was probably, what game is this? And I literally just answered it like 0.5 of a second ago. So unless that wasn't your question. I literally just answered that. Um. Oh no, you get made differently on this side because you're actually out by one. Be you. You're gonna rotate? There we go, because you're just the entrance to the stairs. Yes. All right. Let's have a look from the outside, see what it looks like. What's this game about? Sit back, watch it, you'll see the gameplay. For our first build, I think that turned out all right. We purposely have no windows on the bottom level just because I don't know what happens if our base gets raided or PvP events and stuff like that. So bottom level is just solid walls. Second level is windows on every square inch. So that way we actually have light and we can see what we're doing and stuff as well. Uh, I might still add one of you guys like that just looks kind of funky that is where the house parts because we got that little space right there but I feel like we should still have like a piece there like that does make sense but I still might throw in a piece that window's open we have then this little balcony on the outside. Ah! Ah! I just sprained an ankle. Whoopsie. Steam game or not, got to go on their website. Not bad. Not bad. We have like only a handful of things in here right now, but not bad. And how many structural pieces do I have left? Close you. We have used 276 out of our 300 structures. 
We then have 100 pieces for decor and accessories, and we then have 100 pieces for facilities and furniture. So that means I can still add a lot more things in here, but structurally wise, floor, roofs, walls, stairs, we only have 14 more pieces I can place if I've counted that correctly. I think I have. <laughs> so not too shabby, man. So I'll probably put some fencing up around that little outside area then. Yeah. Pretty pleased with that. We do need to add some light sources downstairs as well. And we have many new items we need to start bringing into the base as well. There's no way to keep up with all the chat with all those TikTok questions coming across. All the TikTok questions are the exact same. What game is this? Is it on PlayStation? Is it on Xbox? That's pretty much it. They're the only questions. Answer them every couple of minutes because it's just the same question on repeat. Ah, oh, nice. We can make our copper pickaxe now. Is that is that the better one? I think we can make one... Hi, there's also a bronze pickaxe, and I just need bronze ingots. So that's the next level up, and for that, I need to craft... this bad boy refined facility which i need 25 bronze ingots for which i believe i might have the goods off this furnace now bronze ingots i need tin ore i haven't got a single bit of tin oh i think to farm tin i need a copper crafting tool first that would make a little bit of sense that's why i haven't gotten it yet okay cool so let's craft that up then so I need to make this copper pickaxe. With this, I should be able to get tin. And then from that, I can get the next level of tool. So let's craft it up. Only takes 10 seconds. Easy. Um, exclamation mark links into the stream chat mod and gives you all of our socials. Yeah, it gives you everything. One nice little easy place for you. So you don't have to like look up each individual one. Makes life handy. Uh, okay, so what do I require to make some basic storage right now? Storage. Ooh. Private storage crates. We have large crate. Give this try and you'll keep more. 20, 15, 5. 10, 5, 5. Okay, well, you cost a lot more to make up, so I imagine you probably hold more stuff in you. So, let's keep our storage stuff on the bottom level for now. And we can move these freely, which is pretty great. One. I'm trying to line up where I want it to be. Two. And then need more ingots to make number three. I'm making sure they're separated so I'm not interacting with the wrong chests. So, holds 32 sets. Very nice. So, what kind of things should I be throwing in here? Should I literally just be like throwing in like all of our materials? Like tools, I should be keeping tools on me. Do certain tools weigh anything? Ammo weighs a tiny little amount. Like point. Points. Portable mixed fuel. Small bottle mixed fuel. Proceed to safely to use. Oh, that's nice. I've got six of those. Nice. Arrows. I do need to make up some more arrows. See what everything weighs. Weighs so little. Holds a dirty water. I think I can just like boil these. I think I can just boil dirty water, right? How does that work? Boo. Click. Healing bandages. I don't even know. And the furnace? 
not about war in there. I'm not actually sure where we do that. Uh, yo, we got cold coming in. One with the follow and two dropping the sub on the stream. Thank you very much, my sir. We got your sub chilling right there. Coming in with that fresh prime sub. Thank you very much. You're the fifth subscriber on the stream today. Thank you indeed. Welcome in, baby. Thank you. Thank you for that. Bringing us one away from our current sub goal. Thank you, buddy. Much love. I think... I need to use my campsite to boil water. I can't build anything here, can I, for that? Just check. This is just tools. Armor repair. Calibrate stuff. Just checking. <laughs> and we got Rash coming in with the gifted sub as well. Thank you, Rash, for the gifted sub. Appreciate that, my G. We also have your gifted <laughs> sub chilling right there. And we also got cold coming in. Also with a gifted sub. And we also have your gifted sub right there. Thank you very much for the gifted subs, my dudes. That brings us up to seven subscribers today. And we are only, oh, would you look at that? What a way from our current sub goal. 284 out of 285. Oh my God, thank you. Cold in one PPS has gifted one sub to the stream. You're a little bit delayed on that, Lou. That was like 10 seconds ago. Keep up. Also, where's the shout out for Dan's? She never even... Oh my god, thank you. Rashkan Twitch has gifted one sub to the stream. Thanks, Lou. There, there it is. She caught up. She done the thing. Thank you, guys. Very much. Yeah, right over there on our sub goal on our Twitch stream. 284 and a 285. One away. And speaking of one, we got Motor Girl coming in with that gifted sub. Whenever we get a gifted sub, it makes my chat lag on the screen, I noticed. It takes like two seconds, whatever. We also got Motor Girl coming in with that gifted sub right there. Oh my there. god, thank you. Motor Girl 80816 has gifted one okay. sub to the stream. A little bit quicker there, Lou. A little bit quicker. And would you look at that? We are one sub away from breaking our sub goal. 285 out of 286. Don't question it. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate that. How long did it take you to get the activation code for Once Human? Uh, if you just played the game yesterday, you didn't need a code. Just launch the game and hit play and you're good to go. That was it. Thank you guys very much for those gift subs. Bringing us up to eight subs in total today. 285 at our goal of 286. The on-screen overlay says it. It's right there in the just screen. Just one Zach asked me, why don't we like Spike? Ah, you're asking why Spike you like why he doesn't like Spike? Well, I'm just a simple lad with a love for annoying people, especially Amp. I'm not very good at anything, especially video games. People just can't handle my charm and wit, I suppose. Charm and also, wit. Sure, some folks say I'm a bit of a dumbass, but that's just jealousy talking, I reckon. Subbing to Amp is great, but subbing to me, now that's just a waste of your hard-earned cash. Fact, AI Spike knows. AI Spike knows. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Right, let's see here. So... Let me drink up some real quick. Let's get some food into us as well. I need more water than that. I've got loads of dirty water, but I think I need to make a camp to boil the water there. I think that's what I gotta do. I have loads of dirty water. So I think we just make a camp and we do that. Other things we currently need. I now have my new axe, which is great because we should be able to now just use that How do I take you off my bar? There we go. And put you on there. Okay, so we should now be able to get tin. Because I need tin to be able to make up the bronze ingots. I haven't noticed any tin right now, but that's what I need. I've got the copper. I got charcoal. I can also make up more charcoal. We're going to send out a 50 of those to make right now. So I need tin. Once I get tin, I can make bronze ingots. Once I get bronze ingots, that also lets off a nice light source. Once I get those ingots, we can then go ahead and craft up our refining facility, which allows us to convert portable mixed fuels into barreled premium fuel. Definitely need that. That's going to be nice for our vehicle, I'm, I'm assuming. And then I think that's all we need for stations right now. We just made up some storage, which is great. We need to make some more things. But I think for now, all that's pretty bang on. Okay. 
Okay, so things to store up. It's literally that simple to deposit. So consumables, materials. I imagine I probably just store up all my materials. Like, the only time I really need these materials is when I'm back here. Oh, we can also test to see... Wait, antibiotics are materials? Yeah, we can also test to see, can I use materials from my storage? Or do they need to be in my inventory to be used? That's definitely a big one. Special items, construction stuff. Do I need to, like, activate those? How do they work? Oh, you used to place them then. Oh, okay. So, deposit. And we can't deposit. Did it even weigh anything? Oh, it weighed zero. Awesome. Cool. So, do items need to be in your inventory to use them or not? Nah? Let's see what the game says. Looks like we're good. I don't think I have any logs in my inventory. I think I put all my logs into there. So I think we're good. Just pull stuff from storage. Oh, looking at the wrong thing. 312 logs in there right now. And the game says how many in total I have. Let's have a look. 312. Awesome. So you pull from your storage as well. Excellent. I imagine once you're within your base. That's great. Because it means I can still just craft up stuff. I don't have to worry about everything being in my inventory. I can stack up stuff. Leave them in there. Awesome. Okay. Very pleased with that. Give me that charcoal. I'm sure there's certain items I want to have in my inventory for quick crafting while I'm, like, out in the wild and stuff, but overall, if we can just store stuff up in here, excellent. Very excellent. Oh, we can just change the name of the boxes, too. So we got two big boxes right now. They both have, like, 32 slots in them each. Nice, man. Very nice. So we need to find tin. That's definitely a big one. Um... We need to turn some of our dirty water into drinkable, clean water. So I need to make like a campsite for that. Uh, I think maybe some food stuff as well. And we got a couple of blueprints for some guns. So let's see what's required for those. We got ourselves a blueprint for like an AK, I think. Should it not just be in here? I would have assumed it would have just been under the assault rifle tab. Hmm. So we've definitely found a couple weapon blueprints, two to three at this stage, but they're not on my crafting station. <laughs> I might need to, like, level up myself a little bit. And we got Motor Girl coming in with some biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Appreciate that. Don't use Twitch bits. Direct donations. Just saying, Twitch takes too much money. Just saying, exclamation mark. Looks tip. like they are setting up like Arkin having PvP and PvE servers. Didn't see anything about max PvE players. PvP, you create a warband of up to 50 other people and challenge other warbands for resources. Nothing on max number of warbands. Oh, huh, interesting. <laughs> no idea in that case. Let's see, cradle stuff. Do I need to unlock? So your basic gear for you. I assume just because I got the blueprints, I'd be good. But maybe I still need to unlock the assault rifles. So I have the blueprint for an assault rifle, but I might need to unlock it here anyway. I'm not quite sure how that works. Let's see. Blueprints in here. So. These aren't the ones I have unlocked. I have 
this one unlocked. I don't have these guys unlocked. So, things we do actually, we have this. We have this shotgun. Which holds eight shots in it. Nice, instead of two. Bro, is that like AA-12s? Oh my god. That's going to be insane. Nada. We have this, the Pioneer. So, let's see. So, that's it now unlocked. Okay. Do we have any other blueprints for stuff unlocked? Ooh, compound bows. Recurve bows. Mini guns. Melee weapons. So, we have this for this shotgun right here as well. So, we have a shotgun blueprint ready to rock. And an assault rifle blueprint. And that's, that's it. Any armor stuff? I got this helmet. And that's it. So, can I just craft you now? Or do I still need to level up that other item? Doesn't say I require anything else for it. So for you, copper ingots, we can get. We have them. Copper ingots. Copper ingots. I can make all those. For the tier 2 version, which just does more damage. Tubes, not yet. We can make this AKM like right now. Let's make an assault rifle and see what it's like. Just need copper ingots. Well, put them to work. How do you download this game? Go to the website. Simple. Go to the website. Mustache game on point today. Yeah, put some wax in it today. I didn't have any wax in it the last couple streams. I assume you've got early access to the game. Nope. I'm just pretending to play the game. But yes. Closed beta went live yesterday. All you had to do was download the game. That was it. You want to play the game? Just download the game. I believe they're giving access to 5,000 people, uh, 10,000 people per day. So yesterday, all you had to do was download, launch the game. You're guaranteed access to it. Today, you need to sign up for the closed beta. Just go to the website, apply for it right there. 10,000 people every 24 hours is what they're accepting into the beta. That's it. If you get access into the closed beta, you now have access for all future betas as well. That's it. Easy peasy. So go sign up. If you're like, I really want to play this game, but I don't have access, sign up now. Because the longer you wait, the more in a queue you're going to get put. The game already had like 9.9 .9 million pre-registries. So get in there now. Because the longer you leave it, the less likely you're going to get on. But yeah, literally yesterday, just download the game and just launch in. That was, that was all you had to do. Download the game and you were got guaranteed access. That's it. You didn't download the game? Well, sucks. That sucks <laughs> for you. But it was there. You had 24 hours. All you had to do was download and launch the game. We talked about it quite a lot, but a lot of people missed out on that. And it was Friday. Everyone was on their PCs and stuff Friday. So, you know, people on now it's the full weekend. They're in it. A little bit behind. But go on to the website. Apply for the closed beta. You might get access in an hour's time. You might not get access for two days' time. You might not get access for a week's time. But apply now. Simple as. Oneshuman.com. That's it. If you find a demon truck driving around, avoid it. Wait, wait, wait. So you mean run straight headfirst at it? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. I will make sure we definitely go ahead and do that. Headfirst into the demon trucks. He's trying to He's trying to ruin my experience. He thinks, I don't know. You need to run at them. Probably not. But still funny. So where are you? Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> I have a low IQ level. <laughs> okay, that's probably enough to make the AK that we need. Oh, yeah, and we can also make the shotgun as well. So we have the double barrel shotgun, which is nice. And then we have this shotgun, which has eight bullets in the mag. It's a pump. Double barrel, two shots, obviously. Higher rate of fire. Does one point more of damage. But this bad boy has uh, a lot more bullets in the magazine. 
Oh yeah, so what are the what are the perks on you? Weapons characteristics. Hidden enemies grant 35% chance to trigger bullseye, which does whatever that is. <laughs> enemies affected by bullseyes take 20% increased damage. So nice. Shoot somebody, shoot them again, take more damage. With this one here, switching weapons triggers fortress warfare with a 20 second cooldown. And then weapon damage plus 10% within the range of fortress warfare. Cool. So yeah, what am I making you as well? You'd be a nice shotgun upgrade. Two, two, four. We can make the shotgun right now. Uh, tier two of it. Yeah, we, we need a lot of these bronze ingots for future stuff, which we should be harvesting soon. But let's get a nice little shotgun upgrade. I like the shotgun we currently have right now, but the fact that it only has two bullets in it, it's kind of painful. So equip you as secondary right now. Thank you, thank you. New shotgun. Who this? Good old pump. Eight bullets in a magazine. Yeah, boy. How you doing over here? I need more of these ingots. I'm trying to walk. And AK. Weapon characteristic. 30% that, 60% that. I don't know what they are, but... Yep, that's, that's what it does. Craft, 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 craft. And there's an AKM. New gun, who this? And let's equip you in our primary slot for now. AK, who this? Oh, and I've got 280 bullets. Now, are they in my inventory or did I store them up? They're in my inventory. So, what do I need to craft these bullets? So, shotgun. It's just you and gunpowder. Easy peasy. And then, rifle ammo. Also the same. So, for three ingots and one gunpowder, I get 20 bullets. I can make... Let's make, let's make a few. So for the shotgun, I got 68 shotty bullet. Uh. Oh, so that's the thing when you swap to this shotgun. It can drop that on the ground, which like fortifies me. And makes me do more damage in that time period too, I think is how it works. So yeah, switching weapon triggers fortress warfare with a 20 second cooldown. So I'm not fully sure what fortress warfare does. But, within the range of Fortress Warfare, you get a 10% damage buff. So we know that much. And that's what Fortress Warfare does, if somebody would like to translate that. I don't know what that means. I imagine it gives me a defensive buff. There we go, yeah. Yeah, so look, it spawns this circle around me. I'm glowing. I imagine it gives me some form of defense. And then obviously also a little bit of the damage increase during that time frame. I just made 1,440 bullets. I thought I was making 100 and something. Okay, so we've just under 2,000 assault rifle bullets. So I can happily spray and pray with this bad boy. <laughs> I made more bullets than I realized. But that's, that's good because more bullets good i guess oh okay okay also monster welcome into the twitch stream thank you for the follow appreciate it, appreciate it. again if you guys are viewing on tiktok definitely get your booty over onto the twitch stream it's our main stream twitch.tv forward slash amplified easy peasy if you can't spell amplified it says it like right there in your tiktok stream smiles give me those yeah, so we got we got a few bullets. This AK holds 40 bullets in a magazine. We have 1,720. And then we have a good few shotgun bullies too, which has a chance to drop this fortress thing down. Nice. Shut that door behind us. Let's go move. Let's go leave our little territory that we made up. know how I just did that. Oh, double tap you. Cool. So. Huh. 
How do I build... There we go, you. I want to build up one of these. I need, I need some items for it. I left all my items back in my base. The name of this game is Once Human. It's currently in closed beta. Closed beta went live yesterday. You can apply for the closed beta on the Once Human website, oncehuman.com. It is only on PlayStation. There's all the information. Uh, sorry, it's only on PC. Sorry, it is not on PlayStation or Xbox or the Nintendo Switch or mobile. It is only PC right now. There's all the info you need. Yeah, it's not on PlayStation. I said that wrong. Yo, Fire Drake, welcome back in. Thank you for the 14 month resub, my G. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Message in there? He does. We'll let Lou read that out in a sec. Sometimes she takes a couple seconds. Here she comes. Fire Drake 1256 has resubbed for 14 months at tier one. Another mouth let go. Another mouth, let's go! Indeed, another mouth. I agree. So, boiling water. Yes, I need the boiling water. As many as we can get. Give me those. 80, excellent. Um, antibiotics. So these are heal over time, right? Continuously heal. Yes. They cost six apiece. Should I have some of these ready or should I just keep the actual one up heal? The continuous heal could be nice. Let's see. Arrows and stuff. I got my gun right now. These can give energy. These are some good bits of food, actually. Okay, nice. We can turn pretty much all of these. Healing bandages. Chevy Fabric and you. Continuously heals for bone fractures within 30 seconds. Nice. Which is one of you in some fabric. We have fabric back at our base. Yeah, maybe we should make some of these as well. We're good for you. And good for you. Pretty much all I wanted from here was the water right now. I hats the game. Sure, why not? Hey yo, happy Sunday. How you liking the game so far? Yeah, really liking it. We played it for a good few hours yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're getting a little more in depth today. Moved around the map, went some higher level areas. We have started making our first proper base. We made some basic stuff, um, but we moved our base. It's now up there. There's nobody else in this area so far. So we had a nice little pick of the land um, and started uh, really building up some stuff. We'll let that, uh, we'll let that do its thing. But uh, you can see... You can see the roof of my base over there. We we are pretty much 14 pieces away from being at the max building. So yeah, here's our base. Yes, it overhangs a cliff. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much nearly at the build limit already. So this is what we've made. Why not? We can relocate this if we need to as well. We need to add some lights. We're grabbing more stuff. Facility stuff. Little back door. Basic storage stuff right now. Secondary level inside of it too. Secondary level has windows. Bottom level doesn't because I don't know how reinforcements and stuff work right now. Garage area. And then of course space for more future stuff. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Do, 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 do. So we're off trying to gather more material to make more stuff right now. There's got to be an easier way to close the doors. I got it. Can can the doors like automatically close? That'd be great. So yeah, that's what we've made up so far. So that should give us all the real estate to craft whatever we need. Now we just need to put all the stuff for crafting in it. And give me all of my H2O. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Loads. We're going to have to start scavenging food-related items. I haven't really run into any food issues so far, but we're definitely going to need to pay attention to some of that stuff. And we're going to see how good this AKM is. See what kind of damage it does. Because <laughs> we have a lot of bullets for it. So yeah, new shotgun, new assault rifle. Just from blueprints we found. So let's go into some new facilities, see what we can scavenge. 
Level nine, that's fine. We're like level seven. Forty bullets in a magazine. What's the reload time? Now, do you dump the whole mag if you reload? So there's one bullet. You do not dump the entire mag. Nice. That is a strong fence. The good thing about the crossbow is it's silent, has a ton of critical damage behind it. Yeah, it's a lot of positive stuff. But AK go brrrr. And you recovered the arrows too. Reload time's pretty reasonable. Nice to have fully auto weapons, though. Hey. Shotgun, who this? Yeah, definitely noticed the range drop off on the shotgun at that distance. Okay, not bad, not bad. This is why we have tons of bullets. Smack, smack, smack. What's in the box? Thank you. Let's go loot some stuff. So if we need to go silent, we do have melee weapons. The shotgun seems to have some good stopping power behind it. It seems to like stagger the enemies when you shoot them, which is definitely good. What's the aim of this game? Entertainment, like most video games. Yeah, I think of this game as Daisy, Rust, and uh, like the forest combined together. That's basically it. Big MMO, open world zombies with other players, base building, crafting, looter shooter, PvE, PvP. Yeah, this shotgun's nice, man. That's locked. Hello. Yeah, I'm liking this shoddy. I wish the, the headshot damage in this AK was a little bit nicer. I know we have 40 bullets in a magazine, so we can just, you know, do this and stuff. But, like, the crossbow, just one-tap headshotting is really, really nice. And this is just, like, low-level as shit. I've got the crossbow here and just... Right, look at that damage, man! One bolt! Do we, like, still just keep the crossbow as, like, our primary? To be going in stealthy? I can't put the crossbow in as, like, in place for my melee weapon, can I? Like, the crossbow is good. Nah, melee weapon's melee weapon. We did just make this AK, and I did just make a ton of ammo for it. I feel like crossbow primary and then, like, shotgun or AK secondary is probably the way to go. What's this? seen damage numbers yeah maybe for now we do crossbow primary ak secondary the damage per second in the ak is actually quite nice 
So if we need to be silent, one tap people, crossbow it. Multiple enemies, pull out the AK and just go spraying. Maybe that. Yo, what's going on, Deadly Ape? Good afternoon. Welcome into the Welcome over to the real stream. You don't got to deal with the random pleb spam over there anymore. That's nice. Yeah, welcome to the real stream, dude. Afternoon to yourself. You actually read your message, which is great as well. I will take those. Ah, give me all the goods. I want more blueprints. I need items. I need I need everything. Thank you. This is a small little area. Scraps. We'll take those. What's the game called? They go by the name Jeff. Or Jacinta, depending. They answer to both, though. Give me back my arrows. I do like that you can re-get your arrows back, too. That is really, really nice. Just that single critical damage on the bow is just so fucking good. Hi, right, look at that shit, man. Hello. I think I avoided the damage. Camouflage bag. Well, it wasn't that fucking camouflaged, was it? I was able to spot it. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else of use in here? No, I think that's this little mini facility. Right, let's get our arses back out. Go exploring. See what else we can find. I'm also quite happy with what we've currently crafted up so far. Oh, this isn't my bike. This is some other player's bike. Let's summon in our bike then. So... I don't need to be going up here. This is bringing us back to lower level areas. So, let's turn around. Level 12 area. I'm like, I'm level 7 right now. Let's go the opposite way. Let's go into the higher level. Is there PvP? There is. Yeah, this is basically a zombie, MMO, looter, shooter, survival, PV, PvP, survival crafting. Should I say when I say survival? There you go. There's a lot going on in this game. Pretty cool. It's basically a full zombie apocalypse, but online multiplayer. With all survival crafting and everything else. Bye. My house is up that way. But you can relocate your house whenever you need to. There's PvE specific servers, which are only PvP in certain areas. And then there's PvP servers, which PvP is enabled all the time. So you could accidentally shoot somebody in the back of the head, or somebody could just shoot you and steal all your stuff. So you can kind of pick how you want to play. Look at this area, man. Uh... What's going on? Any any cool loot in the area? Okay, bye. Rude. Why wouldn't you say hi to me? Why does nobody ever want to say hi to children? Antibiotics could definitely use with some more. Gonna make it just in case there's anything in the area. We're in the higher level areas now. Look at some of that shit. Why is this whole area just flooded? Oil tank? Yes, please. I take those. Give me those. I'm here for all Hello. the scrap stuff. What else? This is this is a kind of cool Hello. area, man. Hello? Hello. Hey, what's going on, dude? Hey, do you know where the deep enemy is? I've been running around for ages. Uh, no, this is my first time getting here. I'll let you know if I see him. Okay. 
No Rift Anchor permission. Screw you. So let's see. Look for the mythical crate. Defeat the enemy. Defeat normal enemies. Find weapon and gear crates and activate the Rift Anchor. I take it I can only activate the Rift Anchor if I've done all the other previous challenges. I can see a better view from up here. Yeah. So I need to keep moving. I think uh, I think the main enemies are more south from here. It's the only one I got left. I just start killing the beat the enemy, but I've been around this place like circled it hundreds of times already. Game is called PUBG. This is not PUBG. This is once human. And I've killed all sorts of enemies around. Here. Eat bullets! Crossbow. Good. Well, let's explore and see what we can find. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, need to throw up my gun. No, thank you. Bad enemies. Good thing I made tons of bullets. Is that now the closed beta as of yesterday? Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't even hear you coming in. <laughs> Hello. I think I'm in a safe area. One sec. Think I might be all right here. Hey, stream. Look, he's came into the room. Anyone know where the hey. beat enemy is for this town? <laughs> First time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's fully in. This baby Ash. She is four weeks old tomorrow. Tomorrow. Look at this little fucking potato. She's like, what is this? <laughs> this is what Dada does for a job. He's loud on the internet and is an absolute idiot. I this would be nice baby scents with Colora. Colors, <laughs> lights, <laughs> screens. She does like looking at screens. She's just like, what is that? This is my gaming monitor. Don't look at the screen. 4K 240 hertz. One millisecond response time. Yeah, it's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. <laughs> She's just wow. What is she staring at? What do you? What? Are, what? What, what specifically where, are you where, looking where at? Eyes? What do you like? What are you looking at? Which bit is it? All of it. It's all so pretty. <laughs> Try not to get it. It's also pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, first time on stream. Yay. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, is she just good. like, has she just drank? Uh, a little while ago, but she's just she's feeling. She gets like milk drunk after she has like um a lot of milk, just uh, KO'd. <laughs> uh, if you're on the TikTok stream, you probably can't see this, so get over onto the get onto the Twitch stream. Yeah, boom, baby. <laughs> yeah, get on, get over onto the mainstream, twitch.tv forward slash amplified. If you want to see baby, baby Ash, you happen to do funky yeah. little squats and angles. <laughs> I can do it now, though. Yeah, good job. Little baby. Yeah, she gets like milk drunk, and you see her when she when she's full after drinking, she'll literally just be kind of like how she is now. Yeah. This room's nice. I like this room. Look at all of that. Pretty. You can steal all those things when you're bigger. There's loads of like cool game and stuff over that side of the room. Mm. It's nice. Oh. This is when we she when she's crying, we should just bring her into this I room know, in the literally. future. Turn on all the lights. Oh my god. The stream room is quite visually pleasing. It's pleasing. It's nice and toasty. It's toasty. Well, she's got to get good at video games sometimes, so we'll just have to have to throw her into some Fortnite or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's for children, right? Yeah. 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 
Give me a kiss. That is nice. Thanks, baby. Yeah, no. Oh. See ya. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Fucking hate those guys stream. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for Ash, first time on stream. Yeah, she is, as we said, four weeks old tomorrow. That's why we weren't streaming for a couple of weeks because had paternity leave. Not maternity leave. I did not give birth, believe it or not. Uh, she's quite cute. Yeah, first time actually being in the stream room. So kind of funny. She was definitely, you could see her trying to take it in. Stream room is very bright. Lots of lights. Nice, nice things. Screens and monitors. And as she said, definitely a, a sentry overload. That gawk, 100%. Just what the hell? It's like, this is what peak gaming looks like. <laughs> That's what she was more impressed with. She was like, damn, that's a nice gaming monitor, dada. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. It's pretty solid. Nice Samsung one, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, Ash is pretty cute. You guys have already seen, we've already posted stuff on like Instagram and stuff uh, about Ash. So it's not her first time a lot of you guys have ever seen her, but her first time ever on stream. So that was nice. Uh oh. Hello? I'm just going to loot stuff and keep moving. Uh, the name of this game is Once Human. It's PC only, currently in closed beta. You gotta go onto their website to download the game. That's all you need to know. The rest you can Google. You got all the info you need. Sneaky, sneaky. What do we got around? Hello. Not a headshot. Smack! Smack! He's gonna blow! I'm gonna have to make some more uh, crossbow bolts. I feel like this one's gonna jump at me. It was wrong. Paint bucket, kettle, smartphone, random shit, whatever. Let's leave this outside. Anything else? Give, give, give. We need to loot all the items. Hmm. No, pretty empty house. I still need to kill a few more enemies and stuff. Hello. Ah. Ah. What kind of microphone is that? It's pretty. Uh, it's a Shure SM7B. And then I've painted it and put a different color pop filter on it. Yeah, that's all. Just to match our stream vibes of black and orange and stuff. Yeah, a lot of streamers, podcasters, content creators will use this mic. It's one of like the main mics you'll see on a lot of streams and stuff like that. But yeah, so I just painted it and then this part is just the color pop filter. You can just buy color pop filters. Loads of different colors. What you got for me? Okay, well that's 15 of the normal enemies killed. We still need to defeat the elite enemy, which I don't know if we will in this area be able to do. Gotta find the mystical crate. Gotta find weapon and gear crate. And then activate the rift anchor, which I think you can only do once you've done all the previous stuff. Off we go exploring. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, what now? They're basically the equivalent of mimics in this game. They get me every single fucking time. Every single time. How do you know if you got invited to the closed beta? Is that a real question? You'll get an email? Yeah, I, you'll, you'll get an email. I, I, you, you have to guess! Yeah, you get an email, dude. 
Yeah, if you downloaded the game yesterday, you could just log in. Every single person who downloaded the game yesterday got free access to the game. That's all you do. Download, launch the game, boom. Access done, just like that. But that was just yesterday. They're accepting 10,000 new people per day as of right now. So go on their website, sign up for closed data. Motherfucker, man. Hate those things. Now, go on through the website. Just sign up for it. Close beta. You might get access today. It might be next week. But the sooner you sign up, the better. The closed beta is not available on Steam. You gotta go on the website, like I said. This game is not on Steam. Hello. That's rude. They do some good damage. God damn. Who just did that? Oh, hello. Bye bye. Ugh, it's dodging. What? Why can't I move? Okay, I'm fine. Hey, give me your purse. Give me that purse. I don't think she wants to give that to me. Okay. Checked you. I haven't actually been in this one yet, though, right? We must check all the houses. No, I have been in this house already. But I didn't loot that. How's the game? Yeah, it's sick. I like it. It's got zombies. Check. Got crafting, check. I like that. It's got survival aspects, check. It's online, like MMO kind of shit, check. Hidden a lot of the things I like. It's pretty tight. PC only right now. Can you play on EU servers? I'm on EU servers. Boss ahead and two crates in the boat. One at the top room and one at the bottom. On to the boat, I shall go! She shoots umbrellas? I can use her umbrella. I used the, the umbrella. Well, that was cool. Umbrella head. Some of the creatures are awesome, man. She, she was low level, so she was fine. There was nothing really major about that. So we now just need to find the mystical crate. And we know that there's two crates on this boat. So hopefully... The mystical crates on this fan that I was going to say they're usually around the boss areas. A wrench. Wait, is that a new melee weapon? I want to beat people with a wrench. I might need to craft it. Wrench. 188. Fuse. Once we get back, we can craft it. What's my current melee weapon even do? Wait, 200? Wait. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. 187. Oh, it does one point more damage. Bapping people to wrench sounds kind of fun, though. Okay, so we know there's one up here, and then there's one on the lower level. And then I can activate the rift, and we've cleared this whole area. You said MMO? What MMO aspect? The multi... The massive multiplayer online aspect. That part. Mr. Second Chest. Are you down this low? 
Ah, there's a weapon crate. Excellent. Energy, munitions amplifier, some ammo. Nice. So, what does that mod do? Weapon damage increased by 9%. Cool. Yeah, cool, cool. Like, MMO aspect kind of in the way, like, um, the way it's a server. This is big online. It's one big giant world server. Everyone connects to the server. You have all your players around the world playing, running around. That kind of aspect of it. The fact that you don't just host up a multiplayer round with two or three of your buds. You connect to a server and there's hundreds of people on a server, if not thousands. I actually don't know how many people are on a server. Um, on the server all at once playing. So, that kind of way. Kind of like the way Daisy and Rust and those kind of games have like, you know, you don't invite your friends to a lobby. You connect to a multiplayer server. Now, not quite MMO is in World of Warcraft and stuff like that, but there's many forms of MMOs. That was a cool little area. Haven't checked out this little shack, but we can now go back and activate the rift anchor. I imagine we now can, because you've done everything else we need to do. Hello. I wonder what's going to happen when we have um, the wrench for that now. We're going to be bludgeoning people, right? Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's in the box? What's in the box? We have Blackfell Refinement Permit. It's an access permit. So we obviously need that to open something. This is the closed beta of the game right now, yes. There's like war bonds which go up to like 50 people. Oh, there's like another chest end there too. So that one explodes. Okay. <laughs> Don't fully know why that one explodes, but it does. So over there is where we now gotta go. I think I think that's the one we gotta go to. That's where I'm going. Looting all the stuff. I can't wait to see some of the more, like, some of the more crazier enemies. So far, every of the unique enemies we've seen have all been very unique. So I'm excited to see the rest, man. Yeah. Is it annoying to make a bunch of ammo? I accidentally made 1,400 bullets for this AK. I thought I was making 400, so I made 1,400. So, no, not really. <laughs> yeah, not really. There's different types of ammo and stuff as well. That's like copper ammo, so super basic. Um, and I made tons of that. So, as I said, I made a thousand more bullets than I realized I was making. So, yeah, you're fine. And things like your crossbow and stuff, which is going to be one of the first weapons you have, has incredible critical hit damage. And you can cover the bolts. Like, that shit's hitting for 220 something at a distance. The AK to the head. 29. AK is definitely good for spraying then multiple enemies and just doing some consistent damage. Bow is good for coming in stealthy. One hit KO on people. Wait, still no Rift Anchor permission. What do I need to do to get... I've done all the challenges. I got the Mythical Crate. Defeat an elite enemy. Defeated 50 normal enemies. Found the weapon slash gear crate. All that's left is to activate this Rift Anchor. But it says I don't have no Rift Anchor permissions. What am I missing? Why can I not activate this? I've done everything else. Why can I not use this? Why can I not use this? Uh, I need to get a PC, more games. Yeah, a lot of these kind of games definitely go live first on PC before they make the way to console. I imagine this game will eventually come to console. Oh, speaking of PCs, our PC sponsor, the stream, actually, is doing a nice little promo with us today. I've only mentioned this. I only posted on our socials, but 
Our PC sponsor is Zydak. If you're on a Twitch stream, type in the chat exclamation mark Zydak. It's in the it's in the stream title. If you can't spell it, you're good. It's right there. Uh, but if you go ahead and buy a PC off Zydak right now, the first person from my stream that buys a PC from them, obviously if you use my code, you get a nice little discount from there. But your first PC game you purchase is on them. So it's not just they're going to give you a game. You can pick the game you want. So a nice little promo in there. So if you're thinking about doing it, maybe it's a good time. Zydak.com forward slash amplified or just type in the Twitch chat exclamation mark Zydak. That'll give you the info. Use code AMP. It will give you a nice little discount. And you also get a brand Maybe new free game. Please asked me, Pablo, do you think AMP knows that he has to add the mod to the weapons to actually Yeah, yeah, it says work? you can add them to your, to your well, gear and EPR stuff. Craze, it's yeah, yeah. a mystery for the ages, isn't it? I'm not adding Maybe mods AMP just that I don't fully know what to use yet. running around with ineffective Drink. weapons. But hey, who needs mods? Yeah, I'm not, mad, I'm not adding those on right like now. AMP. Right? It says it. Subbing to him is a no-brainer, after all. And says remember, near. Pen 15 Mods. is mightier Acceptable than Acceptable weapon types. This only goes on weapons. You can add it on. But... Do I even have any of these? I don't even know what that one is. I have none of those yet, anyway. But yeah, no. I'm saving them up right now. There's ones that will only go onto armor, ones that only goes onto weapons. Yeah, yeah. Main thing I need to know is, how the fuck do I activate this damn rift anchor? Because that's what I need to do right now. Is that an alligator? That was. Why can't I activate this? How do I activate the damn thing? I don't want suggestions, I want answers! Maybes and ifs don't answer the question! I can make random guesses myself! <laughs> yeah, solutions! Yeah, it's literally the only thing left in this area for me to do. And I have no idea how I do it. And nobody in chat seems to have a fucking clue. Those rod anchors are new in the beta, so I can't help you with that. Rift anchors. Feels. Any other gators down there? Definitely a zombie down there. Yeah, it just says don't have permission for it. It doesn't say what I need to gain permission for it. I assume by doing all of the other challenges, the Rift Anchor would then become available, but that doesn't seem to have done it. Too far away to activate that. Parkour. Yeah, no idea. The game is only available directly through the website for the closed beta. Well, let's see. We wanted to continue on. Activate it as an essential step to access the cliff area. How? How do I activate you? I've done everything else. Take the elite and find all the items. Why do I not have permission? Give me permission! I want to use this! How do I use it? It's the only challenge left! There's only task left. That's why I found to level up is doing commissions from a V. I want to activate this. I don't care about leveling up. I want to. I want to activate this. Hey, yo, dude. How do I activate this damn rift anchor? It literally says uh, I don't have permissions, and I have no idea what to do. 
Have you done the previous boss? Uh, which was the previous boss? I, I've already killed the boss in this area. Like, I've done all the checklist. Uh, if you've done all in this area, I'm guessing it's because you've done them all already. So uh, you know okay. what you need. Gotcha. Thanks, dude. No worries. Okay. Previous Rift Anchor before doing the next one. Easy. And of all the viewers in the stream, not a single one of you guys can give me that information. Useless! Ah, you guys have other uses. You're fine. Like asking the same questions on TikTok over and 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 over again. It's mind numbing. Bad gator. What do we get from harvesting a dead gator, man? To hide in some crocodile me. All right. I'm sure we got to keep that stuff up. And over and over. And I nearly forgot those last two. Good shout. So we've already done the rift anchor here. So that's level 11. So yeah, so it's probably this one then I got to do next or... This says active and active. I've definitely done this one. Does active mean I've completed it? Because this says inactive. Level A. Oh, I probably have to go around and do some of these. That was probably the issue. I probably haven't done these ones up here. So loop back and do them. Uh, let's teleport to here. Make our way back. Yeah, man, skipping way ahead. Did I need to grab anything else while I was in this area? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind making up some more bolts. Oh, I can make copper arrows now. Ooh. Damage per shot increased by 5% with these. Yeah, yes, please. Cool. New ammunition. Healing stuff. Fish bait. We're not fishing right now. We're good. Yeah, let's make up some new arrows. Some copper arrowheads. Again, if you're on TikTok, definitely hop over to our Twitch stream. Twitch.tv forward slash amplified. Get your booties over there. You'll get your questions answered. TikTok chat is just full of spam. So if you actually want to communicate with the live stream, get over to the Twitch stream. If you can't spell amplified and you're on TikTok, it says it right there. Get connected. All right, come on. Give me the last few. Ten more to go. I don't know if that's ten stacks or ten arrows in total. And... So, how do I change ammo types? <laughs> Did not mean to press that button. Yeah, so how did I change the ammo for the actual arrows then? Because I got 24 normal arrows. And then we got 45 copper arrows, which do 5% increased damage per shot. Is there a way to just automatically swap them? Aim. Swap to over the shoulder. It's nice that you can do that. You have a little third person, over the shoulder, and then you have fully ADS. I think that's quite nice. Oh, and the wrench. Oh, yeah, we'll have a look at the wrench, see if it's worth while crafting. Do we click mouse wheel in to cycle? No, mouse wheel in pings. That just throws it away then. Hmm. Are those cat ears on your hat or his earphones? Uh, they're just attachments I put on my headphones. Yeah, like they just... They don't come with the headphones. I just bought them because it was funny. And I like being an idiot. <laughs> Let's see. Will it auto swap? Maybe it just automatically pulls whatever's in your inventory. So if I were to disassemble, use. Oh, yeah. I need to also scrap these bad boys up here. Get some good pieces. 
Yeah, it just automatically swapped to the copper ones then. Okay, so if I want to make up some more copper ones, what do I need? Uh, copper arrows. Believe it or not, I need more copper. Who would have guessed? Not you. You. And for more copper, we just need more charcoal. Let's make up some more charcoal. Get some charcoal. Make some copper ingots. Bump. Easy peasy. And let's have a look at some of our new crafting items we can get in there. We made up the shotgun. I'm not fully using it right now. We made up the AK. I'm playing around with that. I'm liking it. It's quite nice. We have our normal crossbow. Oh, we can upgrade to the tier 2 cross. Oh. I can literally make the tier 2 version of the crossbow, which is nearly double the damage. All I need is a few more lugs for that. I have all the other pieces ready to rock. We should do that because the crossbow is awesome. Like, really awesome. So we should definitely upgrade that. And then we got a wrench melee weapon, which does a whopping couple more points of damage. Heavy attacks on shot targets inflict blunt damage. Up to a maximum of plus 25% of, of blunt damage base multiplier. Depending on remaining stamina. So, if we shoot somebody and then do a heavy attack with our weapon, it does 25% more damage. And the tier 2 version, I need bronze ingots. Can't make bronze yet. Because I, I need tin for bronze, right? Yeah, still haven't gotten any of those yet. So until then... Let's make up a few copper ingots. So. Hello. I've chopped those down, but the visuals are still there. Crossbow's good. Crossbow's really, really good, man. Chop down those trees. I haven't chopped down this tree. I need some more wood. Yeah, let's upgrade this bow, man. This thing is really, really nice. I just going around and one bapping people with it is sick. Uh, also, Dark Joker, welcome into the Twitch stream. Most recent follower. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Chop, chop, chop. How much wood are we on? Two on the pieces. Good. Yeah, and we've upgraded our crafting tool. So once I do find tin, I should be able to harvest it as well. Okay, give me those 14 pieces for now. Weapon stuff. Bow. Confirm. Yeah, boy. Requires level 10. Uh-oh. I'm not level 10. What happens if I just try use it anyway? Not high enough level, unable to equip. Re okay, so I'm level 8. Once I do hit level 10, we have our upgrade. Goes from 275 damage to 403 damage. All the rest of the stats seem to be pretty much identical. So we're ready to rock instantaneously. So that's nice at least. Okay, and what are we missing for the new melee weapon? Oh, it's literally just ingots. Cool. And then for you, yeah. No level. Did it? Did the bow say there was a level requirement before I crafted it? It doesn't. How are you meant to know? It, it probably does. I just didn't read it properly, did I? Seeing if I check the next level up. No, it doesn't say anything about a required level. That'd be really annoying if we went off harvesting tons of stuff, crafted weapon was like, oh, by the way, you can't even use this, fam. That'd be annoying. New melee weapon, who this? Requires level one. See, that's fine. Yeah, new melee weapon, who this? And let's store up our other melee weapon, because they use a small amount of storage. And that's why we made, well, storage, isn't it? So, things to store up. Uh, let's... Put stuff we're not using. SMG. LMG. Using the arrows. Keep. Not really sure what stuff here we should be storing up. 
Uh, these are materials, so we can just store pretty much all of these right now. Keep. You also pull stuff from your storage, which I fucking love, which is great. So if you're crafting stuff in your base, you just pull stuff straight from your storage. Very nice. All right, cool, 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 cool. There's all you. Um, more ingots, because I do need to make up some more arrows anyway. I think it was just ingots I was missing out on. And copper arrows. Nice, I'll give me another 55. Right, while they're crafting, I'm going to go for a pee. I will BRB. If you haven't already, like, follow, share the stream. It makes your PP bigger or something. And if you're on TikTok, definitely up over to our Twitch stream. It's the main stream, twitch.tv forward slash Amplify. Or just type in Amplified. Easy peasy. Anyway, BRB, one sec. Also, last time I went to the toilet, I came back to the stream spamming emotes. I swear to God, you better not do that again. <laughs> oh, nice stream. I'm so surprised I came back to the Twitch chat spamming emotes. Oh my god, who's seen that one coming? I'm so surprised by that. <laughs> right, we got our arrows. Bomb, loads more. Thank you. We got like 99 of those. That should be tons. Um, we can make up some healing bandages now. Let's make up like six of those. Adrenaline shots. I need, oh, just glass rolls. I need those to like revive myself. So I should probably carry a few of those on me. I obviously used up all my glass already. So let's get some more. And I just need some more charcoal. Everything in the furnace requires charcoal. Like every single thing. We had Ipe coming in with some biddies as well. Thank you very much, Ipe. Don't forget, we now have direct donos on our Twitch stream. Exclamation mark tip. Uh, that's PayPal donations. That's direct true card. And even true like pay safe or something like that as well. So just a heads up. You can definitely use those. Coco asked me, why is AMP a part timer? Ah. Uh, would you look at that, X King Coco? Amp being a part timer? I don't even well, know what that means. It's simple, really. They're just too busy crying over their failed attempts in the game to commit full time. Maybe they're saving their energy for more important things, like ordering more Pen 15 swords. <laughs> Sub to Amp, the ultimate part timer me? at amparmy.tv. Ex excuse me, AI Spike? How do you know about what I was ordering this week off Amazon? How, how, do they, how do they know that info? All right, there's the healing bandages, adrenaline shots. They cost 20 of those a pop. Yes, please. We got the rubber, we got the glass, we got all the acid. Yeah, man. So each of these adrenaline shots is like a self-res. I should definitely keep a few of those. <laughs> is that Nugla? I'm nowhere near as handsome as him, unfortunately. Why did it make me feel fucking bad, Simon? Thanks for that, dude. Rude. Oh, you meant the text to speech thing. Oof, even worse. Nah, that's a streamer friend of mine. Eh, friend's a, friend's a strong word. Yeah, that's Spike. I have AI text to speech of my fiance. 
one of my friends, and then Spike. I don't, I don't really class him as a friend, but he, he's there. He, he's there. So, two streamer buds and my fiance. Yeah, they're all text-to-speech on my stream. And you can even ask them questions, and they will respond, because we turned them into AI text-to-speech. Because I do stupid stuff on my stream because it's fun or something? I don't, I don't really know. Oh, I need this as well. Let's craft you up. We got our adrenaline shots. We need to craft you up. We have our new arrows. We have our copper axe as well now, which should allow us to make the next level of axe. We have some bandages. Um, yeah, I'll be able to get my bronze pickaxe by using my copper pickaxe. And I think that's pretty much everything I need right now. I think that's pretty much all we can currently work with. So let's... Let's see. Things in here. Food, water. Yes, definitely. Uh, healing bandages. Do we actually need to have our tool on our hotbar for us to be using it? Yes, it, it seems it. Yes, it, it needs to be on the hotbar for it to be used. Okay, cool. Do you need to be on the hotbar to be used? You do. Okay, we need this to, like, scan for... Copper and tin. I need tin. I need tin badly. So if we can scan up for some of that, that'd be great. Put you there. Food, water, instant heal, bandages, Molotov's grenades, harvesting tools. Yeah. I think those basically make sense. So we kind of skipped a load of stuff in the game. We just started going into some of the higher level areas. We need to actually go back into some of the lower level areas of the map because we still have a few smaller rifts we got to do. Because I'm off here trying to complete these rifts and I'm like, why can't I complete these rifts? Because we got to go back and complete some of the other rifts firstly because I, I, I kind of just skipped ahead just a wee little bit. So... That's what we got to do. Got to make our way back to the beginning area and have a look and see which ones are next on our list. I kind of just was like, hey, I'm level five off to level 15 area, which we were surviving in, but not quite what we need to do. So I've definitely activated this roof already. It's at rift. It says active. We've activated this rift already. At least it says active. So that means the rift is active. So you're level four. So I imagine probably you... So let's set a marker to it and start traveling. And this is the base we made today because it was fun. And I like I like crafting stuff in video games. And the crafting system's pretty good. It's it's pretty big. <laughs> it's nearly the maximum construction size we can make for a building. It's already two stories. I just like crafting stuff in games. What can I say? The name of this game is Once Human. PC only. Closed beta went live yesterday. Um, it is... An open world, survival, crafting, zombies, um, PvE, PvP, looter, shooter, kind of Daisy slash Rust slash Days Gone slash Sons of the Forest all combined together. That's the description I can give for you. Work with that as you please. Yes. That's, that's the best I can give you. It's definitely a weird category of a game, but there you go. Off we go traveling. And I'll be able to start making up my own fuel soon as well with the next item I'm able to craft in our base. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's still giving out codes. Uh, they're doing 10,000 a day. So if you downloaded the game yesterday, you just got guaranteed access. Didn't matter if you signed up for the beta or anything. All you had to do yesterday was just download and launch the game and you had access. You're good to go. Uh, and that gave you permanent access for the future. If you didn't do that yesterday, well, that fucking sucks for you because now you got to go to the website and apply for beta access. You might get access in a day. It might take a week. But as I said, they're doing about, I believe they're doing 5,000 every 12 hours. So 10,000 in 24 hours, that's a whole day. So that's it, a rock on it. Easy peasy. I was part of the first closed beta. Would I still have access? Yes, I be they said yes. They said if you were part of any of the previous betas, you just have access to this one. Uh, and also, if you are if you have access to this beta, you should have access to future betas also as well. So you should be good once you're logging in with the same account, the same credentials. Yes. Should be. I just played a game, but 
he should be all right. So let's see if this is one of the next ones we got to go to or not. Level wise, it looks like it'll be next. So that's where we're going. And again, if you're on our TikTok stream, definitely check out our Twitch stream. Twitch.tv forward slash Amplified. Bro, I need a code. What the fuck? Well, yeah. Everyone needs a code who didn't play yesterday. But unless you had access to previous stuff and the things we just iterated. Scoot. It also kind of gives you Far Cry 5 vibes in terms of exploration. Yeah, a little bit. I can see where you're coming from with that. Yeet. It's a nice animation. So, look for Mythical Crate, find the Rift, find some stuff. So, not even bosses. Are we of the level to be able to activate this? Or is this the next one on the list? Do we have permission? We do. Okay. I already see the crate. So, that's why we weren't able to activate the next set of crates. We're in body armor? Get out of here. New melee weapon. Who this? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Bop. Bop. Ooh, bludgeon weapons. That was kind of nice. That was real nice. I like that. That was, that was pretty cool. I can't climb up that. I can't imagine we're really going to get any items we need for these right now. Schematic for a new chest armor. Cool. Get out of here. Ripple in space-time detecting nearby. Ooh, that means, like, world enemy? We still need to find the weapon slash gear crate in the area, though, because that... that doesn't count. So if I was the gear crate... I'd be... I'd be, like, over here. Once we find this, that's this area done. Then we can move to the next one. Shut up! <laughs> oh, that went weird. That looked funny. The bolt was like hovering there for a sec. What's that? I'm gonna shoot it. That didn't do it. I wanna touch it. Hello. Look up. I did. I think I got to like jump off the roof or something. Let's see if we can go jump off a roof. Let's see if we can even get upstairs. Don't jump at me. Don't jump at me. Oh, sweet. Oh, an actual. This is the first climbable ladder we've seen in the game so far. Imagine we open the window. Aha! There's the weapon crate we need. Energy, munition gear mod, some ammo, toy. Oh, can't open that. Aha, parkour. I will touch it. I got it! I got it! I also hurt my ankle. Bandage. Who this? Does bandage regen my HP or just like help with sprains and shit? I think it just helps with sprains and shit. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the box. My reward is energy, stellar stuff, stardust stuff. Cool. Okay, so that's you done as well. So I imagine off to you next.
Do -do -do -do. Off we go. How's the mechanic so far? Yeah, everything kind of just works how I kind of expect it to. Really? I'm liking it. It's good. It's no revolutionary gameplay with mad crazy mechanics. There's some cool stuff in it, but everything just kind of works as assumed. I'm liking it. For like a big open world zombie apocalypse with some weird crazy shit going on. I think it's pretty good. If you're a fan of Rust, you like that kind of player versus player stuff, big open world MMO kind of vibe. Yeah, man. That's a nice house. Not as nice as my house, but... I was rubbernecking. Now, that's what I get. I was rubbernecking. I just done a lot of damage to my vehicle. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Oh, I like the overhang. Oh, having your garage be outside. Uh, adds no... Doesn't actually do anything. Nice aesthetic. Oh, nice ideas from some people. A couple things from that that I could learn. Solid. Yeah, crash into a van. You're gonna go bap. Eyes on the road. Is this state of the decay? Nah, bro. That shit shut down after like two days of being live. This is once human. And it's actually pretty fucking good. Really, really good. I'm sorry, but that was hilarious to you. Don't laugh. It's fine. You should laugh. That was funny. That's a nice house. Boom. Like, this is why I no longer own a motorbike in real life. Because I'd, I'd probably do shit like that. My attention span has definitely dropped drastically throughout the years. Drastic. Okay, mythical crate, weapon and crate, defeat normal enemies. Easy. Mm, this is a nice little area. Hello. I'm going to press. I want to press it. Let me press it! What's this say? Good job, you. You got him. Must use brain. Huh. Amp no use brain good. Amp use brain good? Mm. Amp brain ouch. Mm. Happy birthday. Okay. How amp activate this? Wait, and brain have idea? Fire! No fire. No fire. Let's go do the other tasks I gotta do first, and then we'll figure out how we actually activate that. Uh, mythical crate, weapon slash gear crate, kill five enemies. Oh, you got one HP? It'd be a shame if I was to bat you. There's the five enemies. There's the gear crate. Thank you, thank you. And now there's just the mythical crate. Oh, it actually doesn't... I don't even have a challenge to even activate that thing. It doesn't even say that I need to activate the rift. I didn't even realize that. You think, you think it's still in this building anyway? Oh, is that a weapon crate? Ah, <laughs> yes, it is. Gear mod, some ammo. Melee amplifier. Oi, come here. I was upstairs. And we get a pistol schematic. And now I can just activate the rift, right?
Hmm, no. It doesn't even say I need to activate the rift in this area. But I just assumed I'd have to. It says activating it is an essential step to, active, uh, to accessing the monolith of greed. Sounds kind of important. So you're done. You're done. You're done. Hmm. Have you scanned? I have not scanned. not seeing anything. Why in my backpack does it say 20? I just realized that. It didn't say that prior. Did it? Did it say that prior? Hmm, it says I do need to activate this. Not for the challenge in the area, but it does say I need to activate this to access another place later on. Five. Is it because we're like in this void area? I think it's the status pollution. Yeah, it's level of 20. That's what the beeping is. Bin. Oh, shit. You can actually loot some bins. Yeah, we might need to go do another rift before we can activate this one. But we do know we we have to activate this rift to, this rift to progress. But we can't right now because it's covered in whatever that goop is. This guy also can't seem to figure it out right now. Yeah, let's see if we just need to go activate another one prior to that. Let's uh, let's go up here. This one was level four. This one was also level four. Let's see if we can do anything up here. This is level seven. Go check it out. Oh, that is my motorbike. I'm trying to pick you up. I'm going to just resummon you in. Easier. The game is called Once Human. It's PC only. It's currently in closed beta. Closed beta went live yesterday. If you downloaded the game yesterday, you got free access to the game. If you didn't download it yesterday, you need to apply for the closed beta. They're accepting 10,000 new players per day. You need to apply on their website. It is not on Steam, on their website. It's everything you need to know. You're welcome. That goes for everyone in the stream chat too. And if you use Twitch, get over to our Twitch stream because it's the main stream. Mm -mm. I check out this other area first. I like whenever we hop on the motorbike, it's all very calm and chilling music. People definitely can't read. Oh yeah, and they just don't care as well. Yeah, you can tell people all the information they want. They'll still blank you and then just ask the exact same question you've already answered a bazillion times. It's a very TikTok heavy thing. People just don't care. And impatient as well. Like, I know you gave this guy this one answer, but you haven't specifically answered me about it. So I'm going to ask the exact same question. Or someone in chat will answer a question for me before I can even get to it, which happens quite a lot. And people will just blank them and be like, no, I need to hear from this streamer. And it's like, somebody already answered you. The answer's right there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I saw you streaming this yesterday. Look, you got in. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Enjoying it big time. Did you stream Black Ops 3? Yeah, I used to play a lot of COD. I haven't really played Fuck For All COD recently because COD's base has been Warzone and Warzone's full of too many PC cheaters and that shit's just not fun. 
but I'm excited for this year's COD because it's a Treyarch COD, which is like the Black Ops guys. So like zombies and actually good multiplayer and a sick campaign and stuff. So I'm excited for that. But except for that, I haven't really played some COD in a quick minute. Hey guys. Bam! Can I do a jump hit with this? Get out of here with that. Bonk! So yeah, the heavy attack with a bludgeon weapon is sick. It's a big ground smash, man. And... Bonk! <laughs> bludgeon weapons. I'm liking it. Really good. I want to hit, hit that melee. Badly. Lootable? Weak. And Duken! <laughs> Just an arm. Okay. Oh, piece of candy. Tell me more. I will take those. Machine core. Okay. Don't fully know what that's for, but it's yellow, which means high tier. And dunk. Yeah, I like the heavy attack on that. Can't wait to see what some of the, the legendary melee weapons and stuff are like. They're going to be ridiculous, aren't they? Oh, I think I see another medical pack. Hey. Is this Daisy too? That's a good description. Yeah, I don't completely hate that one. Hey guys! Hello! I'm gonna say I probably won't have access to this area, but let's just see. We might need to go do another rift first, but we'll find out. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna come over and do this! Seemed like the right thing to do. I'm gonna say that's too high to jump up to. So we need to get inside. From the top ropes! Hmm. Hey guys. Oh shit, those guys can teleport? Yeah, I like, I like this melee weapon. Still getting hit a little bit, so I need to need to be a little bit careful. Pulling that gun probably isn't the worst idea. It's just I just got the weapon, so I'm having some fun with it. Bonk. Status pollution strong. Okay, there's a crate. It's one. Stardust pollution is literally one. Motherfucker. Every time. Literally every time. I, there, I wonder if there's a way to spot them. Because they just look normal to me. Keep your eyes peeled next time. Can I activate? Sweet. Okay, so that's you. Good. Teleportation tower. They just like fast shovel spots? I should probably activate those. We got you. So I still don't know how I activate this one yet because it's covered in some stuff, but we can come back to that. We're going to check out the other ones that we need to do first. Forest concert? And I can fast travel to it. I want to go to a concert! Let's get it! I don't know what this is. I think it's an event. I'm going to go check it out. So yeah, what? Well. 
Victory of public crisis event. Oh, I'm too late, Are, am I? So there was like a big public event going on here. Is that what it was? I think I was too late for it. This is a cool area though, man. Okay, what else can we active? Uh, well, we do have you just down the road from us. So let's go have, have a look. 100 meters away. Yeah, don't forget if you're on TikTok, check out our Twitch stream. Twitch.tv forward slash Amplified. Get your booties over there. Twitch chat. Uh, TikTok chat is just spam. It's impossible to read. It's the same question on repeat nonstop. Get over to the Twitch stream. Mainstream. Okay, that's you. We still have the mythic chest and some gear stuff. So around we go looking. And that's closed. If I was a mythical chest, where would I be? I'd be up there. Oh, there's a player up there, which means I can also get up there too. I'm gonna go over there. That's where I'd be. Which I am, which I am. Exactly. Yeah, I too would like to get on top of that building and I feel like I don't go straight through the front. I feel like I come over this way. Let's see. Game looks cool. It's very cool, Tazzy. It's a lot of fun. Aha. Running. Go on, be up here. A lot. This town area is sick. This town area is very, very sick. Up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Well, this is at least where the weapon crate is. Oh, a sniper rifle. Ooh, so there's the weapon crate. Still need to find the second weapon crate slash gear crate. And then the mythic crate. So the mythic crate wasn't even up here. Interesting. This, I would have assumed this is exactly where the mythic crate was. Better way around. Can I spot anything from up here? Any areas stand out to us? Oh, didn't actually mean to jump down. Maybe here? There's a crate. Not a gear crate or anything, but still check it out. Hello. Oh, wow. You actually break his helmet when you shoot him in the head. That's nice. So his helmet actually took that first hit and broke, and then we had to shoot him in the second one. Oh, puppy. Dead puppy. Oh, I think that might be the gear crate over there. Check it out. Mm, I think that's just a normal crate. Yeah, just a storage crate. Damn it. Give me that. Yeah, let's go back and check out here. Bonk. A lot of these guys with armor. Armor this! <laughs> they did not armor this. Hello! Bunk! Oh, ho, ho. 700 and something with the back smack. How did you get an orange sure microphone? Paint. Yeah. Paint. That didn't hit him. Fuck. 
If I was the mythical crate, where would I be? I really enjoy that weapon. Did you paint the fluffy part? The fluffy part. I like that. I'm going to call it that from now on. The pop filter part of it, you can just buy these. They just come off. They literally just come off. They come defaultly with a black pop filter, but there's websites. You can get some off Amazon that come in different colors and stuff. I wouldn't recommend getting the ones off Amazon. They're like $5, but if you're using the Shure SM7B, using a $5 pop filter, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend getting a more higher quality pop filter. Um, I can't remember the website I got this one off of, but these just pop filters. These just, these just come off. Um... Because that's, that's all the top part is. The fluffy bit, should I say. <laughs> you love that. Yeah, just go have a look. So yeah, painted the bottom portion of orange and then just purchased an orange pop filter. That's it. Sorry, an orange fluffy bit. My apologies. I need to use the correct window. <laughs> fluffy bit. Yeah, that's all. I would not recommend spray painting your microphone, though. You could very easily fuck it up if you don't do it correctly. It was very 50-50 when I was doing it, but I'm an idiot, so it's okay. All right, come on, Mr. Mythical Chest. Where you be? notes here on the ground a lot of notes beware of the fridge the fridge oh look at that there's an enemy in the fridge Boom. bye nice people leave those messages down for people so you don't get jump scared every time which they do to me every single time what do we think? In the mark? Hold. Level 9. One more level. I can use my upgraded bow. Bonk. Is that a gear crate? Nice, it is. So that's that task done. New mask. Weapon mod. And what are you? Illuminate the candle. Okay. I'm not going to question it. Now what? Uh-oh. Is this drugs? Oh. Believer's loot crate. The cultist treasure map. Cool. And that marks that on the map. Well, let's go hunt down this cultist treasure map. Oh, I do have the... I'm still missing the mythical crate in the area, though. I would like to find that before I leave. How do you play it? I'm using a mouse and a keyboard right now. I don't know if the game supports controller or not, but definitely supports mouse and keyboard. Dude, that thing has a doll's head on it. Bonk. Don't care if you got a doll's head on or not. Bonk. Big bonk. Uh, again, if you're on TikTok, definitely up over to our Twitch stream. TikTok chat is just full of spam. It's literally the same questions on repeat 24-7. It's impossible to keep up with. If you're an actual live stream viewer, get over to the Twitch stream. Again, Twitch, it's just amplified. If you can't spell amplified, it says it right there in your TikTok. Just type that in. And if not, I assume you're a bot. No, that just loops us back to here then. Where is there any players in the area that I can ask if they've spotted where the mythical crate is? I haven't been in this house. Go check it. I don't think I've been in this house. Nada. 
Nada. That one's closed off. Is the front door open? Garage is open. That just scans for ore and stuff. Hmm. There's a player shooting. Let's get over closer to them and see if uh, see if they got a microphone so we can ask them. This is all that's left. I think he was shooting over this side. Um, yo, hey, dude, uh, do you know where the, the mystic crate is? I can't find it. Does he have a microphone? He's ran straight inside. Looks like two players here. Bad puppies. Hey, yo, Frost, have you found the mystic crate in this area? I, it's the last thing. I just cannot find it. You can figure it out. Is he trying to figure out what his push talk button is? You want me to follow him? Sorry, let me go around. How the hell do I get out of here? I'm behind you, Frost. Hey, Peter Mod. Vintage tiny toy plane. Dr. Frost. I don't think he's leading me anywhere. Is he? No, no, I think he is. Watch your Twitch amplified. Just straight up amplified. If you're on TikTok, it literally says amplified like right there if you can't spell it. Yo, thank you, dude. Appreciate. I think I was at the top of this building, but not the bottom. Thank you, dude. Appreciate. Thank God. That was literally the last thing in this area. That was really annoying. I could not find it. Now, is this the building that was on the rooftop? Let's have a look. Let's go outside and have a look out. In. The joys of other gamers. Yeah, I was literally on the roof of this building, but I wasn't in the bottom level of the building. God damn. Okay, let's get on our bike. And let's go hunt for this treasure map that we just found. So, unbind you. And... Whoopsie. Uh, oh, yeah. Remove you off the map. Ooh, where is... Yeah, it's right there. I'll just follow it. Yo, what's happening? Mark, good afternoon, baby. Also, thank you for the Twitch follow, my G. Yeah, Twitch chat is significantly less spammier and way easier to read. Which is quite nice. TikTok chat is basically just, what game is this? What game is this? What game is this? What game is this? Can I play this on PlayStation? What game is this? How do I play? What game is this? What game? That's all it is on repeat. Like I'll answer like every one of those questions and point one of a second later, I'll have like the same message 10 more times. Like I'll, I'll literally be like, this game is once human. It's only on PC. It's closed beta, closed beta went live yesterday. If you downloaded the game yesterday, you have instant access. If you didn't download the game yesterday, you can apply for the closed beta directly on their website, oncehuman.com. Okay, there's all the info. We have the chat up. Now watch. Someone's going to ask the exact same, even though I've just answered it. Our Twitch stream can see all of our chats. Hey, what game is this? Instantly. Hey, I need the game name. See? They don't listen. And I guess some people are sarcastic with it as well. 
I, which I appreciate. Thank you for the vibes. Do love that. But yeah, Twitch stream can see our TikTok chats and everything as well. But yeah, point proven. Like 90% don't even pay attention. So that's why I say get over to the Twitch stream. It's where the actual chat is. 1.5 kilometers. How long does it take to travel that distance in this game? We'll find out. Our Twitch is just amplified. It says amplified right there. Just typed it in on Twitch. Easy. Days before, I think you're getting confused with um, Days Gone. That, was that it? Days Gone? No, I'm confused. I will get to you. Oh, that could have been bad. I could have went flying there. Yeah, day before. <laughs> the game's name is Minecraft. Oh, that answers so many questions. Uh, only came here from TikTok to find out the game's name. Shut up! I will slap you! But yeah, definitely keep the vibes going. TikTok live chats make me feel like I'm not really all that dumb. Oh, absolutely. Couldn't agree with you anymore. Five million percent. Yeah, it definitely has uh, made me feel a lot better about my intelligence level, which isn't very much to begin with, but it's nice. The game is called Just Cause. Oh, man. I haven't played Just Cause in so long. What a game. Skirk. I'm running incredibly low on fuel for this bike. I have some fuel, but I don't think I can use it yet until I get my next refining station. I think. I came from TikTok to ask the game name. Come here. Stop asking the same question! Uh, also, once human, PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all about when it's been done memingly and sarcastically. Uh, absolutely, all day. <laughs> one story house? Oh, actually, it might be two story. I was going to say pitiful. Oh, wait, one sec. I. Is this tin? Yes, I need tin. I need tin badly. I need tin badly. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Because once I get this, I think I can refine my own fuel and other things too. I think I can make some new weapons actually. Some nice upgrades. Yo, I still see you there, Fred. Good afternoon, baby. See you still holding it down on kick. Appreciate that, dude. We're actually up to six kick viewers right now. Hey, thanks for the kick viewers. Appreciate that. Yeah, boys. We got 51 Twitch viewers, six kick viewers, and no idea on TikTok. It doesn't show me my live viewers. Hey, yo, TikTok! How many live views are we on right now? I have no idea. It doesn't tell me. Which you think it would, but eh. It's super active chat. So, at least two. 248. That sounds like more than two. Wait. Wait, was this thing just leading me back to my base? Oh... It just wants me to craft an MP7. This is my house. This is what I have crafted in the game. Yes, this is hanging off a cliff because I can. We built this today. Didn't actually take all that long. It was incredibly simple to craft it all. I need to add some light sources downstairs. There's not really all that much down here right now. But yeah. Okay, we need to store up... Uh, boom. Can I pull trash automatically? Oh, we should probably keep them on us. Store up everything else. See if we can automatically pull our scrap metals. I imagine so. Most of that gets scrapped. Let's see. This assembly bench. This is Embolet. I need all the goodies. Thank you. And let me see if that did pull some of those from here. Y 
Yeah, and did it store the stuff I scrapped instantly as well? No. Okay, that went straight into my inventory. Cool. That would have been cool if it also stored the stuff I scrapped straight away. I mean, that would have been quite mad, actually. All right, what you need us to do? Use your medic for base equipment and get an MP7 and submachine gun formula. Uh, have I even got any more? Oh, I got eight. Sweet. So, in this one, and basic gear, how much you cost? Two. Cool, I got eight. Thank you. Blueprints. We got a blueprint for this gun right here. New pistol. Who this? Uh, have I gotten any more blueprints? I think I got some armor. Let me just check. And one more level and I can use my enhanced crossbow, which I'm very excited to check out. Okay, you made it up and got that. Armor! Automatically unlocked by the looks of it. New goggles. Who this? Mm -mm. Fuse. We're good. Good. And good. Okay, let's have a look at our armor stations. So what's the new pistol do? 136 damage. Hidden enemies grants a 30% chance to trigger. Fast gunner. Fast gunner grants weapon damage. 30%. Cool. I don't really want to use a revolver right now. We already have our shotgun. Do I need to actually craft the SMG? Because I got an AK right now that I quite like. We got our bow. We have the tier two of the bow, but I can't use that for one more level. And then we just got our new uh, uh, bludgeon weapon, and it's nice. It's really nice. The fire stick looks cool. <laughs> the torch? Create any bullets in supply workbench. Oh, nice. So I don't actually even have to craft the MP7 because I don't plan on it. So, uh, I guess here I'll make one set of rifle ammo. Good. I'm sure you'll need that weapon soon enough. Wait. I just noticed a teleportation tower was activated at Deadsville. Did Mary do that? Whoever it was. We can use it to teleport straight there. Open Arrive in Deadsville. Teleport recommended. Towers will let us get places okay. much faster and... and avoid any dangers along the way. This one, Deadsville? Cool, cool, cool. Was this one of the rifts I couldn't finish? Nope. Off to Deadsville first, I guess. Do you need a decent PC to run this game? I'm not sure what the minimal and recommended specs are for the game. Give it a Google and let me know. Yeah, no idea. One nice thing about PC games are you can tweak resolutions and graphic fidelities and all this other stuff to, you know, try make the game run on your PC and stuff, so... It can vary. Oh, hey, it's Mary again. Hey, what's up, Mary? Haven't seen her in a minute. F kind of forgot Good. about her. You made it. I did make it. You're the one who activated this tower? Yeah, I figured this was the quickest way to bring you here. These towers are even supposed to Ooh, let you nice. travel between worlds but I haven't been able to figure out how. Pee on it. Maybe you'll have more luck. Clearly. Either way, I'm glad it got you here. Deadsville is the perfect place to dig up info on the area. That Mate's merchant not over moving. by the old truck looks like she gets around. Maybe this is closed beta, useful. so no, not full release. Because that's what a beta is. Investigate the teleportation tower in Deadsville to learn about the ability to switch worlds. Oh my days. Ripple in space-time detecting nearby. Interact with a teleportation tower in a neutral stronghold or in the wilderness to activate it. You can teleport between any two active teleporter towers. At teleporter tower, you can switch between worlds. Open the world list and select one to switch to it. Teleport tower and then change to the world. Okay. When it says world, does this mean servers or what? What exactly is it? Like, what should I be swapping to? Talk to Claire, the dealer. Yeah, a couple of people. Hi, Claire. Claire. Talk to Claire. See anything you like. I'm always open for business. I like those necklaces. They're pretty fucking good. Yeah. I don't come here to shop. I'm just looking. Maybe I did come here to shop? 
Wait, you're a mayfly, aren't you? Thank God, I could use some help. My name's Claire, Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. I sent Dude, the game is called Luigi's Mansion. It's fucking Paper Mario. Get it right. God me. damn. But they never came back. I haven't played Maybe the new Luigi's Mansion, goods. man. Don't that shit looks so fun. Cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid something must have happened to them. Nah, shame. Rumor is the Rotten Manor seen a surge of deviance recently. <gasps> deviance. I suspect there's a deviation behind it. <gasps> Wait, does the deviants have made a deviation? Oh my days. What kind of deviation? The one that deviates from the original plan, All I know obviously. Is I heard from that well-dressed gentleman over there. He should be able to tell you more. He definitely stands out. Because so he's well-dressed. He That's Good why. Good luck. Oh, and I'll happily pay a reward if you can recover my stuff for me. I'll mm, mark the location of the Rotten Manor quote. on your map for you. Just I, uh, I think I've already sure been there. Up on ammo before you go. All right. I think that's the place where I couldn't unlock the rift. So I guess I got to go there, use the teleportation tower to go to another world. And I imagine then that rift anchor doesn't have weird shit around it. That's kind of what I'm guessing. Hey, what camera do you use? Uh, the camera I'm using is a Sony A7S III. Uh, and then the current lens I'm using is a 20... Is this 24 millimeter? Uh, 24 f1.4. It's one of the Sony G Master lenses, so it's beautiful. I use that lens as my main uh, stream lens. And then I have another lens for when I'm just doing like videos and photography and stuff like that because I use it for a lot of recording and traveling and stuff too. But the other lens I use is a 24 to 70 f2.8 G Master as well. They're the two main lenses. There. I have another lens, but I don't really use it. I'm probably going to sell it actually because between those two lenses, I basically have everything. Is it pre-recorded? Yes. And know the place for the first time. He is well dressed. The unknown, they weren't lying. Gate. But yeah, if you think our camera looks nice on uh, TikTok, you should check out our stream on Twitch because TikTok heavily lowers the stream quality. You don't get the full bit rate and everything. Hop over to the Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash amplified or just type in amplified on Twitch. Easy. Are you rehearsing for something? Love it. Yeah, that is ah, Look at that tie. A mayfly and one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you know okay. about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right man. Good. I am Samuel Lowe, a humble scholar specializing in the fascinating people who call themselves call humble deviations. usually not quite. And as for you, believe it or not, you seek keys with which to unlock the dark tower, don't you? Uh, Amplified is not the name of the game. Amplified is the name of my channel. Up. Do you always speak in riddles like this? I yes. was merely setting the mood. Now. You're interested in the deviation Why do your mates not move sometimes? Monolith, aren't you? But as I said, that tower is locked up Hey, yo, Grand Misery. Good afternoon. Thanks for the follow, baby. Rift anchors scattered across the Dayton wetlands. Rift anchors? Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? We've already done Activating a good few rift anchors, but we still need the rift more. Inside the monolith. Spot on. And where would these anchors be? Up Usually your bum. places with the heaviest stardust pollution. The Rotten Manor would definitely be one of them. Right again. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. And by the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. In fact, I imagine it's the I'd one you that I need to go back up and do now. Okay, negotiate the next steps with Mary. All right, Mary, let's go do some shit. Now that it. we know what to do, let's split up to cover more ground. I'll find a way to hack into the Yeah, monolith. sometimes the mets just don't Once move in the cutscenes, and other the times anchors, they do. Come meet me at the monolith gate. Sounds like a plan. Your character doesn't talk, though. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. This won't be easy. Oh, and one more thing. I have a motorcycle here you can use. I have my that own motorcycle? That should help speed things along. I have my own motorcycle? Unless yours has, like free fuel in it then I'll, I'll take yours oh, oh yeah this looks like it'll be fun to ride <laughs> this is just my motorbike it's heavily damaged and very low amount of fuel in it 
Fuck you, Mary! I guess it's because I already have my own bike, obviously. So, off to the manor. Let's mark it. Don't even have to mark it. Just follow it on the on the road. Yeah, still closed beta. I don't even know what game version they're at right now. Oh, will we hit level... No, nah, we're not getting level 10 after this mission. Unless this mission gives us a buttload of XP for no reason. But we're like... Not even halfway true, like, true level 9 yet, so still a little bit to go. So, my bike is very much running on empty right now. What happens when a fully rolled out of fuel? I have some fuel back at my base that I think I can use. And if not... Oh. Out of fuel. One sec. Let's see. Add fuel. So I have this. Okay, so I can use you. That gives me a bit of fuel. I should now be able to craft stuff when I get back to my base as well, because we just got some tin, which I needed to make brass ingots. Not copper ingots, brass ingots, which will allow me to refine the fuel I get, I think. Spent my first four hours building my house and collecting building thingies. Yeah, I spent the majority of today doing that. We should set up a campsite before yeah, like rushing a, into uh, the run manor. That a good chunk of today. Quickly, Pretty pleased what we've made so far. I am currently 14 items away from the max structural building limit. Yeah. Plays a campsite around manor to create a respawn point. Oh. Head duking! Okay, I guess I gotta do it outside, like it said. Oh, that's why everyone has their fucking campsites here. Oh, I need to get some logs and gravel. <laughs> Let me get some stuff. Oh, hi, dude. What's up? Bonk! Can I harvest these little trees? Okay, need to get some basic material because I left all my material back in my base. There's a few logs. I just need, like, any form of rocks. Oh, shit. Look at this guy. He's dead now. AK-47. We'll do it for you. Want to relocate, but everything is just taken? Uh, I went off a good bit in the game, and I just... Where I made my base, I haven't seen another person anywhere nearby. Like, at all. It's quite nice. I need... Ah, I'll be able to get something from these. There's four gravel. Seven. Eleven. I think it's ten is all I need. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. This structure cannot be built near a road. Motherfucker, I'm nowhere near the road. What do you mean? And also, everyone's is literally right beside the road. What are you talking about? I'm nowhere near the road. I'm in the most open area of the game. All of these ones are literally built beside the road. This structure could not be built near a road, is what it says. Have you seen where these ones are built? Like, every single one of these is built near a road. These are all player camps that they've built and never dismantled. Flatter terrain required. Well, at least it doesn't say can't be built near a road. The church cannot be built near a stronghold. My days! <laughs> Where can I place this? Uh, 
biggest objective of the game. Learn, get, get a place to place your fucking thing down. Can people dismantle their fucking campsites? There's no space left. Can I build near a road? I'm not near the fucking road! Does the game know what a road is? I feel like... I feel like the game might not know what a road is. That done some damage to me. Okay, so big old scary scarecrows do a little bit of damage. Drop anything nice? Always acid. Can it be built near a road? No, we're near a fucking road. Oh, you know where I can build this? We can build this on the next segment of the stream because unfortunately, it's after 7 o'clock my time, which means it's time for me to dip off. But don't cry. I said don't cry. Stop it. I know. I know. We'll be back live tomorrow, continuing some more Once Human, doing some more shenanigans and messing around. And maybe we'll actually figure out where the fuck I can place this goddamn thing because it's, it's genuinely not letting me place it down. All the actual areas seem to be just taken up by everyone. And anywhere else I try to place it down says it can't be near a road, even though I'm literally in the middle of a field. So we're going to have to just find a nice little spot and get lucky with it because it's kind of our next objective right now. Yeah. When did it become daylight saving, Singy Amp? Uh, like a week ago or something like that. I don't know. It's currently 7-11 right now. Anyway, until then, thank you for those who tuned in. Back live tomorrow with some more video games. If you haven't already, get connected to the socials. Following on one platform ain't worth a shit because notifications are really, really bad. If you're on our TikTok, definitely get connected to our Twitch. If you're on our Kick, get connected to our Twitter. If you're on our Twitter, get connected to the Instagram. If you're on Twitch, type in the chat exclamation mark links. That will give you all of the links you need. And if you're on any other platforms, just check out like the description or my about page or whatever. And that will give you all of the links. That will give you the Instagram, the Twitter, the Discord, the OnlyFans, the merch store, all the basic stuff. But until then, that is us done. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully see you tomorrow for some more Once Human shenanigans. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, smile your nerds tomorrow.